Okay, and we are back once again with our new campaign. That's exciting. It's been a while. How is everyone doing? Good. Yeah. So excited for me to unleash the masterpiece I have created. <laughs> All right. And let's do our setting. Uh, this is making use of the setting from the Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth games. They involve a virtual reality world used as a second level internet run by the Kamashiro Corporation. The virtual reality world is called Eden. In this setting, Eden exists as a border world between the real world and the digital world. Kamashiro managed to set up this border world that they thought, you know, here we've got a digital world, it's fine. But the actual digital world is starting to be interfered with by it. As time goes along, parts of the digital world have been surfacing in Eden, which immediately causes problems. That's why the Kamashiro Corporation has hired and created a group called the Digital Security Division. And their job is to go into the parts of Eden where the digital world is surfacing and figure out how to get it to stop surfacing. Usually that requires just finding this connection point between the two worlds and getting rid of it. And that just causes the digital world to go back where it came from. Today, you guys have been sent to... A location in Eden, which is being recorded as having a pretty significant amount of digital signals. That means some strong Digimon going on. And you guys are here to sort that out and try and get this section of the digital world back where it belongs, which is not here. So let's introduce some characters to start with. Uh, let's go from the top of the line. Andy, would you like to introduce your human? Uh, yeah. Let me and see him there. I gotta zoom in because that's a tiny picture on my screen. Even though I know exactly who I am, I just want the you know recording thing. She dead. I'm pretty sure shows it to everyone. Yep, that's Kenji, and he's exactly what I told everyone he was gonna be. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Kenji is mostly a computer guy that kind of. You know, is in this because he was good at computers, not because he was good at anything else that a digital security team might need to be good at. <laughs> like, you know, anything physical at all, or... Yeah, that's, that's basically his biggest weak point. Really good with computers, though. Yeah, he's good at computer. Computer plus yeah. one. All right, so Kenji has a Digimon partner. However, we're doing things a little differently this time around, and everyone's managing someone else's partner. So, Bridget, would you like to introduce this friend? Yes, uh, I'm playing Dillymon. Um, I have not made art yet, so there's some place. We're talking about that's art. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> it's so cute. Uh, Dillymon is a small quadrupedal. Uh, crocodile Digimon. It carries a backpack containing a mounted turret. Um, Personality-wise, Dillimon is a bit of a wisecracker. It's a they're very quick with a quip or uh, biting comment. Uh, but despite this, Dillimon has a very sincere, childlike nature. Uh, they are considered fairly fairly gullible Digimon, um, but they're just very childlike, uh, and they. Uh, this Dillymon's particular relationship with Kenji is uh, they see him as sort of a big brother figure and really, really look up to him, even though occasionally they're a little, uh, a little rude. That's, uh, that's, that's Dillymon. All right. Well, let's uh, keep that going with you, Bridget, and introduce... Oh, God. Uh, who is this? Uh, this is Cherry Bombastic. Um, she is a, well, saying she's a former idol is a little mean. Uh, she's a sort of down on her luck idol. Um, she's working currently as sort of a face uh, role with Eden, um, like a you know, y'all you, you remember when Hatsune Miku was slinging pizzas for Domino's? It's sort of like that. <laughs> <laughs> so um, good. Those are the best. That's the perfect description. <laughs> She's a... How to describe Cherry? Um, 
she's got a very sort of free spirited personality, very uh like uh airhead is a little brutal, but yeah, she's kind of um a little, a little out there. But uh she does have a bit of a temper, which is sort of what got her uh in a lot of trouble in the idol world and has her sort of floating through on these assignments. Um can be very charismatic, uh, but yeah, that's that's a that's Cherry. All right, and partners to Cherry is uh, the reveal areas button. Ta-da! Coronamon. Yes, this is Coronamon. Um, he is pretty much functioning like Cherry's bodyguard. He's uh, very protective. Of Cherry, and uh, he's got a bit of a temper on him too. So he'll like, if someone's like rude to Cherry or something, he'll just like pop out and be like, "Hey, don't," or I'll I'll bite your ankles. He's pretty small, not a very big guy. He talks a lot bigger than he is. Big heart. Yeah. Big heart energy. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. All right, and your human, huh? All right, my human. It's really funny. It's got a fairly similar personality. This is Shishiro Nakamura, or more commonly known as Lucky. Uh, he's he's here to beat things up, pretty much. Uh, his his family's got some uh, less than savory ties to local underworld. Uh, families and he's decided that he wants to do something else other than crime so that's why he's here he's here to beat things up if necessary he's um where did that personality blurb go hold on <laughs> he's very headstrong kind of dumb but super loyal and if you guys get in trouble he's got your back excellent partner to him is tess yep this is me um I love it so much. Yeah. Neon. <laughs> yes, Neon is um, it's kind of a laid back sort of kind of yeah. Um, he he probably initially tagged along kind of with the intention of being just a total freeloader, but <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, sort of like yeah, kind of lazy, snarky little dude. That's his job, being snarky and cute. Yeah, Lucky he's, loves him because he's a small, fluffy animal, so. <laughs> yeah, wow. exactly. That's excellent. All right. And Tess, your human you'll be playing it as is? Hello. Yeah. Um, this is Beatrix Turnbull. She, um, she's a really, like, strict sort of, Yeah, like, um, she's the sort of person who, like, even if she's not the leader, she likes to think she's the leader. She, um, um, yeah, very sort of, kind of stoic personality most of the time. Uh, she likes getting things done. That's her job. Fair enough. Uh, partner to her is Maddie. Yep. So uh, Beatrix's partner is um, Leolman. Leolman is kind of a polar opposite of Beatrix. So where she is stoic, um, he is fiery, very loud, wears his heart on his sleeve, um, is big into shouting. Just that's the hobby of the day is just fully yelling at everything. <laughs> He's incapable of shutting up. Um, he can be kind of snide sometimes, but only to opponents. He doesn't really have. Um, he doesn't really have. He doesn't really use his. I guess not his temper, but his 
snideness um, on teammates, um, but he really likes sort of encouraging people and uh, egging them on when uh, they need a push. Um, he and Beatrix butt heads fairly regularly because of how much their personalities clash, um, but he, he genuinely cares about her and will protect her. It's wonderful. I love we have two fiery lion it's Digimon. Good. <laughs> I, I like that, as... bes that besides like the one that doesn't have art yet, they are a pretty similar color scheme so far. Oh yeah, you're right. We're the reddish We're very color coded. Your um, your the human you'll be playing as, Maddie. Okay, so this is uh, Mitsuyo. Um, she is very secretive and very serious looking woman um she takes more passive roles during missions she prefers to follow the lead of other people on the team she keeps her professional and personal night personal life far far away from each other and she talks and acts very formally um she gives off the impression that she's super boring and only cares about work uh, her phone and computer wall wallpapers are just the defaults, and uh, she dresses really neatly and formally, usually wearing solid colors uh, with no patterns. Um, she's got a little bit of a secret beneath her boring exterior, but the only people who would ever be aware of that are people that she's worked with for a very, very long time. Yep. Uh, the Digital Security Division has been going for about two years it's up to you guys to determine how long you've each been part of that and that'll determine how many previous missions you've been on and so forth how well you know each other etc etc and finally andy you are playing the partner of this is prizemon he's a giant gachapon machines prize ball with eyes on him <laughs> How, how giant are we talking here? Well, like, giant for a gotcha, like, probably beach ball sized, thereabouts. I love it! I would die for him. <laughs> but yeah, he is there also... Anything, hold on, is there anything what? inside? I mean, there's a prize inside. <laughs> but you, like, you're gonna try and tear him open? What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he, uh... He is also pretty like businessy about work he's a little friend but also a, a co-worker so you know be professional <laughs> excellent oh, the most professional little sphere yeah and so far i've got a really like red color scheme with the digimon <laughs> <laughs> make great. dalimon's backpack red please <laughs> yeah um i think they do have the the turret has sort of a uh, a rocket that's always loaded into it, and it's like a little red sort of uh, lizard-like face. That's oh. excellent. So, can you call it a lizard launcher? It's called the Crockett rocket. Oh I love my it. god! Also a good name. <laughs> or I think, or it's the Crocker rocket. I forget which one. Crockett rocket. Yeah, that's so good. That's wonderful. All right, so you guys have recently arrived at the location of the digital signal that indicates a part of the digital world has surfaced. What you know basically is that there's a high concentration of digital signals. That means a lot of Digimon or a lot of strong Digimon. And there'll be some way to figure out of what's tethering this location back to the digital world. You just have to get rid of that tether and it'll just go away. So you've arrived in. It is colder than it usually is in Eden. There's lots of snow on the ground. Not actively in the air or anything, but the ground is snowed over, and that's weird. But, yep, yeah, you have arrived in this location. What would you like to do? Mitsuyo puts on her very professional-looking blazer to keep warm. <clears throat> and then she waits. <laughs> Yep, and also position yourself however you'd like. You should have control of your the human and the Digimon you're playing perfectly fine. So if some of you stand forward, some of you stand back. Yeah. 
do whatever you wish. Chicho's gonna start walking like, hey, let's go check this out. Let's go, because he's stupid. <laughs> he's just gonna go. I think Cherry kind of follows a little bit, uh, but is hands hands in her pockets, uh, trying to keep a little up. Usually. Keep warm, keeping close to her, her Digimon partner. Yeah, Karanamon's just like... Oh, I was just about to say that as well. <laughs> Karanamon is here to protect Cherry. So you're standing on what looks like some sort of hilltop. There are trees behind you. There's a cliff edge just ahead and a bridge that goes over the cliff as you get to it. I have no idea how much of this is dark versus how much of this is light for you. I should increase the darkness on my screen so I can tell better how it is for you. Get some level of opacity. Yeah. That's supposed to be light. I have a better idea of um, how dark it is for you guys and what you want to see. If you want to investigate anything or reveal any parts, just point it out to me and I'll reveal more. Yeah, um, yeah, Beatrix, uh, Beatrix is definitely interested in, like, scouting the immediate area. And, uh, right. Leolman's gonna trot along after her. Uh, would you like to make a check to investigate the area, then? Cool, what am I rolling? I, f I swear I forget how to play this game every time we play this game. Yeah, I'm trying to take a check of that as well. Something weird going on with the actual manual. Let me just refresh it. It's probably just weirded out. Nope. Never mind. Okay, the Google Docs version is somehow weirdly broken. So, uh... Yeah... Broken. So I'm not the only one getting that? I think I, I have it downloaded. Guys... Give me a sec. I've definitely got the PDF somewhere around here. There it is. It's the old version of PDF, but it'll tell us enough about the skill checks we need to do. So uh, I figure this is either going to be... Yeah, survival or perception. I guess both of them have similar but different applications. So roll either a survival or perception check. Um, so it's going to be 3d6 plus your yo, perception is going to be better. Four. Yeah, which is willpower plus perception. And survival is intelligence plus survival. Yeah, so I'm going to do with perception because that's a plus 10. All right, 3d6 plus 10. Ooh, there's a big old thunderstorm out right now. Just heads up if I mysteriously vanish. That's why. I hope it doesn't get you. I hope so too. Damn, a 23. Whew. She's, yeah, she's probably kind of wandering around the edge of this little area, seeing what's up. All right. So Beatrix starts scouting around. Uh, as you take a look around, you can make out a bunch of things. You can see that beneath you is a ravine, and it's not as obvious on the snow, but both on the bridge, which is stone, and the ground far beneath, there's a black and not quite white, but there is a chessboard pattern just over the ground, all over the place, like especially down in the ravine down here. It's really obvious. All right, that's interesting. You've also got, just in the distance, a pretty sizable another hill, like this current existing one. Oop. You can just see more trees over there and flat rocks, similar to where you're standing, but just another hill over there. You can see down into the ravine a fair amount of they're pretty empty amounts of rock, like there's nothing really going on down there. But you can see it, you can see a little bit of water running out of some holes in the rock on the le uh, left side, so across the way from where you are. Not okay. down, but just uh, across. And when you turn around and look, you can see 
there's some heavy rock that is sticking up on the other side. So you can't really see it so much, but in the cold, you can actually hear some voices beyond. So this rock here, let me see if I can, I got a clip to ping. This rock here is like pretty high, so you can't see what's beyond it, but you can hear, you can't really make it out, but you can hear voices coming from the other side of it. All right. Um, she, uh, she called out to the others. Um, I hear some voices across the way. Let's be cautious when we're proceeding. Leo Mon goes, uh, Beatrix, I'm gonna go look. Oh, okay. All right. Be careful. Mm, yeah, yeah. It's fine. Oh, that, that, that's a pit. Whip. Yeah, that's a pretty deep chasm down there. Oh, okay. Never mind. Gotta go. Yeah, the chessboard pattern here. is like a hundred or so meters down. Okay, so Leolmon's not doing that. Well, um, I'll be right back. Here. I just have to check something really quick. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll be right back. Okay. Is this area like here, yeah. like a bridge? This is bridge. Okay, sick. So, is there a way that Leolmon can get onto the rock on the other side, like over here from the bridge? Yeah, if you go to here, the rock goes up. It's not exactly a sheer face. So if you want to do like an acrobatic maneuver, uh, you'll be okay with that. Yeah, sure. Let's see. Okay. So for the old one, that's going to be a what the body check is for Digimon, which is uh, you're not trained in your body stats, so it's just 3d6 plus CPU, so 3d6 plus one. Uh-oh. Immediate so, death. Don't even say that. <laughs> oh, no. Us? Mm. Yeah, uh, you get your claws in there, you start scrabbling, like a lot of loose rock starts falling down, and going, you know, falling down, tick, 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 falls off into the chasm, makes a bit of noise, but you manage to claw your way up to the top on top of the rocks. He's gonna like you know you know the thing that cats do when they're like yep. peering over the top of something. He's doing that. All right. Uh, from here, you have a pretty great view. So I'm just gonna loop this fog of war as soon as I get my polygonal review. And that should be a lot of it. Oop. So here's what you can see. Just a little ways down from the bridge, you didn't see it from where the rock landed, but a little further down there is a huge castle just built right into the rock, just rising up from it. It's tall, it's large, it's very definitely a full-on castle. You've seen, uh, how long has Beatrix and Leolmon been doing the digital security um, division? Um, Beatrix has probably yeah, been around for a while. Says yeah. that Beatrix has been on the team since it was started. I assume that Leolmon and her have been okay. around for. You've seen it's been uh, how many missions? I'd say maybe about fifteen to twenty missions total, maybe less. But you've seen a couple of structures, and you've seen bigger, but this is still on the upper side of what you've seen when you're around. So as you look down, you take a scout around, uh, there's a couple of things that stand out immediately. First, there are two Digimon, let me just grab them both, standing just right in front of the castle gates. They are just standing there quietly. So let me just paste them in and put them in position. Uh, the castle is much bigger than it is on this map. We'll be going to that later, but the right now there's a gaming abstraction. Yeah, it's big. But you've got two big Digimon, like more than two people tall, just standing at attention in front of the gates. Further down, out in the field down here, you have, and I need to grab some more things. You, you. You and you. And you. So you just got to grab these icons and move them over. 
Just out in the snow out here, there is a big Digimon and a bunch of little Digimon that are all like around it. And the little Digimon are all doing like drills, military drills, like walking around, practicing weapon attacks so far. And the big one's just overseeing and commanding them. Right, so Leolabon's tail kind of twitches a little bit, um, but he knows better than to go charging down into an area where there's like a bazillion Digimon, so he's going to come on it back. just probably told him off for this a bunch of times. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's definitely like, happened before. The fact that his tail is twitching so much is like him trying to hold himself back. He, w he really wants to. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. Can oh, Beatrice probably. see the old one from on top of the rock there? Um, I mean, I if she can, I, I assume so. <laughs> yeah, can she see that tail twitching and she just knows? Oh, yeah. Uh, don't do anything rash, she calls it. He, like, looks over his shoulder and, like, doesn't snort really, but he just kind of looks at her. You know, when a cat looks at you and you can feel it judging you. <laughs> he, he like he kind of rolls his eyes a little bit and he starts coming back. All right, so you're just gonna scroll back down and walk back over. Yep. All right. He's gonna come back over, um, and he's gonna be like, "All right, well, there's a castle." I guess, and a um, bunch, of, bunch of Digimon, three real big ones, a bunch of small fries. Oh, a bit, yeah, she kind of nods. All right, thank you. Good job. Oh, yeah, we have, um, we have like, access to, uh, like, a compendium of Digimon thrown our Digivices this time, right? Yeah, so you can do lookups on typing in attributes and names of those recognized. This is going to be fun because Leolmon is observant but doesn't really pay attention to like attributes or anything like that. Yeah. So he's like, all right, well, it was big and it was white and it had a sword. <laughs> you probably she have better luck sighed. scanning it with your device than... Yeah, she kind of just sized. <laughs> All right. Uh, is anyone else doing anything? Um, You've up to something. Well, th thanks to the super helpful description, uh, Lucky's actually going to try and creep over there to get a better look at them. All right. Name on is falling. How far do you go? What do you, what are you doing? Talk uh, through it. Well, we're going to get as close as possible, and uh, Shichiro's going to be as sneaky as possible. Like he's just full stealth mode. All right, well, there is a specific stealth roll. Yes, so there is. 3d6 plus agility plus stealth. 3d6 plus agility plus stealth. So, 3d6 plus... All right. That is easy enough. Three. Twenty-two. Damn. Yep, yeah, as sneaky as can be, you sneak up just so until the Digimon start cresting into the top of your vision, and then you flatten up against the rock and just, you know, half climb it, how Leolmon did, half just sneak around so you can get like a closer look at these Digimon. You can't see these ones down here from where you are, the ones down here. All but right. you've got a pretty good look at the front of the castle gates and the two Digimon on guard in front of it. Am I close enough to give him a scan, or...? Yep. All right, let's try and do that. All right, uh, your Digivice does a lookup. It registers, it checks, it gets back to you, and you know that these are both Knight Chessmon. All right. Is Nemo good, good, good to follow behind, by the way? Yeah. He's he's probably like he's I mean, probably like, spent half his time clinging to Lucky's back, just kind of going along for the ride. 
A piggyback, that's fine. Uh, like Chessmon, you know, their virus type Digimon, or the um, their puppet type Digimon, if that means anything to anyone. But mostly what you've got right now is you've got a pair of champion level Digimon who are on guard and just, they don't seem to be moving at all, but they're very much like on a at attention position. All right. Well, with that information, uh, Lucky's going to make his way back, probably carrying his little buddy yeah. and uh, relay that information to everybody else. Sweet. Important qu question. Um, when uh, Nimon walks, um, do his little feet make little squeaky noises? Like, uh, yeah, they definitely or, do. or is it just like his like little socks sort of just flop, flop, flop against the ground? Um, is I I, I want to say he's kind of squeaky just because that would be the funny option. So with that big so. flat feet, I was I was half expecting like a plap 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 kind of thing. <laughs> Either way, they're definitely making noise when he walks. <laughs> so it's probably a good thing that you got carried back. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. well, that twenty-two really helped you. <laughs> I got made that nice and smooth. I'm so All glad. Right. So right. Shichiro yeah. comes back with this information for everyone else. Yep. Is anyone else up to anything? Who's doing what? Uh, Mitsuyo is kind of taking notes on her clipboard about what they know so far. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Um, is it a clipboard thing she's... or like a? Um, you could probably have like a uh, pad that connects back to home base, and you're like returning information to that all the time. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. It's like one of those fancy tablets with a pen that you yeah. can write shit on, and or you know what, like in Eden, I know you can open up just a holographic screen and just type shit. Yep. Um, that's what she's doing. All right. How's her writing? How's how's her handwriting? Oh, it's it's um it's it's in print, no cursive. Um, very, it's very, very neat, um, and very sharp and angular. All right. Uh, Andy, what's Kenji up to? Honestly, I don't know yet. <laughs> Let's see. Whoops. Well, that is Kenji, but, uh... Well, so he also, you know, like, he, he ain't gonna bother with notes. He's just, you know... He heard the information. That's good enough for now. But, uh... Let's see. He, he hasn't actually been there that long, so he probably doesn't know crap about... Nightmon besides what we just or what we were just told by the scan, so yeah, he's he's honestly just kind of hanging back until they get like once we figure out what we want to do, then when we get in the castle, that's he's, he's mostly just here to try and figure out how to help get it disconnected, and the castle's probably the best bet. Usually, when there's a giant castle. That wasn't there, that's why it's doing this. It's a fair assumption. And like half right. of that was out loud. He was like mumbling to himself. I'm just <laughs> deciding that now. Very good. Okay, who else is doing anything? Uh I think Cherry is like eyeing the bridge like she wants to cross it. Uh she's kind of Looked around, didn't see anything else of interest, but she's uh, like making some very slow, purposeful steps that way, like uh, just chewing on some gum and popping it, but not really interacting with anyone. Is she the type who cracks her gum also? Yeah, oh yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, and right. she just kind of like watches over for a little bit, then kind of turns back to everyone else and is like, so, uh, we're going to deal with this or it seems like we probably should, uh, move forward. Yeah. And, uh, Leo, Leo Mon goes, that's music to my ears. And he sort of prances over. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, Kronemon is going to nod and be like, ready for combat. 
Meanwhile, uh, Shichiro is just like standing there, staring off at the Digimon in the distance and like cracking his knuckles like he's ready to fight them personally instead of sending his Digimon after them. <laughs> a very smart move. He's not a very smart man. Okay, Prizemon is going to like bounce over here, but he's like looking towards... Is he imprints in the snow each time? Oh yeah, he, he bounces. So, they're just big circles. I mean, he could roll, but then his face gets on the ground. That's like, extremely uncomfortable. Alright, uh, talk me through it, guys. Who's doing what? Leolmon's at the front. Very interested in what's going on. Listen, um, if if no one's keeping a close eye on him, <laughs> if no one's going to stop, uh, Sherry, Sherry, and you probably, you guys probably know this from working with her before. She's very much just like walk straight, the kind of person who will walk straight up to a Digimon and start talking to them without any regards for how many teeth they might have or weapons on her. So, um, if no one's going to stop her, that's kind of what she would probably naturally start doing. We have a horrible team. <laughs> this, this is why hanging. This, yeah, this is why Beatrix is here to tell everyone off when they go to stupid shit. Student council president for life. Yeah. Mitsuya is just hanging back and watching. All right. So is Cherry going to charge ahead, or is Beatrix going to take command and try and hold everyone back? She's like, okay, we're going to approach with caution. Mm, that's so boring. <laughs> Beatrice, I don't, I don't care. We're approaching with caution. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, well, move yourselves as you're going to move. Okay. Marching order, go. <laughs> Dillymon kind of looks up at you, Kenji, and is like, so, uh, are we going to join them, or are we going to wait over here for some reason? We're going to follow. Follow? All right. Yep. <laughs> Sounds Mitsuyo good. looks back and says to Kenji, don't fall behind. I wasn't gonna. She sure out the friend's like, come on, slow pokes, hurry it up! God, Kenji's slower than someone that bounces to move. That's depressing. Leolman is going to follow uh, um, Shichiro. Shichiro's lead and be like, yeah, hurry up, slow pokes. All right. I'm not, I'm not slow. I'm just very low to the ground. <laughs> Get someone to pick you up then. Uh, Dillymon looks up at you, Kenji. Mm, Kenji has arms like twigs, though. <laughs> Isn't Dillymon pretty big, too? Uh, they're larger than should be picked up. Yeah, let's yeah. say blow to the ground, just to, like, so are, like, actual crocodiles. I don't even want to pick one up. Kenji's Dillymon's like... medium-sized, so I'm pretty sure they are actually similar to a regular crocodile. <laughs> Kenji's just gonna look down and, like, shake his head, no. Mm -mm. Hmm. Next time. Alright. <laughs> so at the front as, uh, Shichiro? Yep. Chichiro we can call Lucky. Lucky works too. Oh, Lucky. Lucky and the Olmon start walking over. You get see these two night chessmon. They're there. Their heads are looking like directly at you guys as you walk over. And as you start getting closer, they shift a little and just move a little closer to each other and cross their weapons in front of the doors, in front of the gates. Looks like the welcome party's noticed us finally. Um, uh, Leolmon's tail is lashing already, but he is showing impressive self-restraint. <laughs> Coronamon's probably gonna move a little and bit. He sort of takes a little step forward. Just a little one. Just a little step forward. Just a little one. <laughs> their, their eyes are trained on you, but they are not moving from where they're blocking the doors. It's now. Well, at least they're dedicated. Um, so they're, they are, they do know we're here at this point. 
um, I think it seems pretty clear yeah. they're aware of you. Uh, Sherry waves at them, trying to get a reaction. Get absolutely no response beyond they're just they're stock still where they're standing. Hmm. Well, guess we're not getting in there without a mm. a civil conversation. You reckon if I I could, we could throw someone over there? Throw someone where? Over, over top of the knights. <laughs> uh, the castle doors are shut behind them, and they're like the oh, walls okay. are pretty tall. So yes, but then they'd hit a wall. Oh, so when when whoever said that, uh, Mitsuyo like went to go pick up uh, Prizemon and then stopped. <laughs> <laughs> Oshijiro is kind of stupid. He was gonna pick up his Digimon and just like try and yeet them over the wall, but <laughs> not gonna happen. Who's good with talking to Digimon? Like, uh, Tenji's just kind of gesturing, like. I, Cherry, that's kind of what Cherry, I think, does a lot is the sort of. um. She's our charisma. Yeah, the her her job in the uh, I feel like her job on the team is sometimes um, what one part making cover stories uh, or like handling that kind of affair, but a lot of like talk based things. So um yeah, I think she kind of approaches um, and is going to attempt to make conversation. I guess. All right. As um, she approaches, Karanamon's gonna like scoot around everyone's legs and like wait, <laughs> wait for me. Oh god, runs out. <laughs> runs in front a little bit and then skeets back. Yeah. I mean, Doesn't want to get too close. Gotta maintain a respectful distance. All right. So Cherry has walked up to the furthest anyone's gotten so far, of where the bridge ends, and you can see the path keeps going for a little bit, and then the castle just forms. Uh, how, big are, how big are uh, Digimon? Maybe, like, between two and three peoples. Okay. They're tall. Cool. It's like their legs are, where their legs end is about how high you come up to them. Mm. Alright, um, kind of wave upward, and like, Hello up there. How's how's the weather? I'm sorry, I'm contractually obligated to ask you that. Uh so what are we what are we doing here, big guys? There's just a moment where they're staring at you and you can swear you just see like trying to figure out what they're gonna do with this before the the black knight chessmon just shakes his head and it moves its weapon a little bit while the white one sinks stock still and just says the gates stay closed. Okay, I didn't ask you to open them, but um, I guess that's sort of an answer, so thanks for that. Uh, what are your fr- oh, so what are your friends doing down there? Uh, for a moment, the black one turns its head, then realizes it was looking away and looks right back at you. Um, you know that there's more Digimon around this side, but the way the walls are set up right now, you can't actually see them from where you're standing. You can hear them, but you can't see them. And the two just, they kind of like shuffle a little closer together in crossing their weapons. You can tell they're like a little uncomfortable just trying to deal with this. Mm. But they're very like, they don't like, they don't seem to like talking at all to you. They're not responding. That's. It's a shame. I, we had such a good flow going. Oh well. Uh, kind of turned back to the rest. And... Karanamon's gonna cross his arms, just kind of like glare at the knights. Like, how dare you be so disrespectful? <laughs> so, uh, um, Sherry kind of turns back to the rest of the group. So, are we fairly sure that uh, inside the castle is where we want to be? They seem to not 
want us to go in there, which I don't know. Usually these these things, it's uh, where the Digimon don't want us to go. That's where we have to end up going. So just wanted to check in with everyone, see how everyone's feeling um, before we start busting some heads, as it were. Uh, how are we feeling about busting heads? Thum thumbs up, thumbs down? Uh, uh, Beatrix is going to step forward. Chichu is going to like put both his hands in the air and go, BUST HEADS! Be stepping forward, um, she addresses the guards like, uh, we have business here. Um, it's quite important that you let us through. When you, when you say, uh, hang on a second. What's Beatrix's partner again? Yolamon is vaccine. Uh, roll a persuade. Okay. Okay, everyone's getting good rolls today. That's a 19. Uh, when you say you've got business, they look at each other for a moment. Then the white Nachismon reaches down the hand that isn't holding a weapon, and it wraps it against the um, wood of the big doors behind it. A moment later, a little door opens in the wood, and one of the little uh, smaller Digimon, which you haven't identified yet, pops out. And the Night Chessmon says, they say they have business. And it looks at you, and it runs back inside to, like, try... It's it just disappears back inside. You know what it's doing. It just heard, was told you had business, and it went back inside. Would you say it scampered? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. Important question. Sorry, I just had to make sure. I get you. And the little door in the big doors shuts again, and the two night chessmen just stand there, staring. Kenji is mostly just looking relieved right now that it looks like bus heads is not the path we're going for, because, yeah. Not always fun. Alright, so nothing much is happening right now. What are you guys doing? Cherry's still trying to get these Nightmon to talk to her, but she's kind of just doing that in the background, I think. Asking them various questions. The old one's going to sort of pad towards them and be like, I'm not going to go in the castle or anything. It's cool if I walk around a little bit, though. They don't react, but they also don't chase you off, so... Leolmon does the best shrug that a cat can do and then sort of just starts looking around. I think a All cat right. is just kind of a living shrug. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Um, she's uh, gonna see Leomon like start to go off by himself. Is gonna pick up his little buddy here and just run over. <laughs> that right. sounds infinitely more interesting than going into a castle. Um, Beatrix watches them carefully. Namon, meanwhile, is just kind of snickering at like like Cherry's attempts to try and make conversation with these guys because it's just clearly not doing much of anything. He's like, you guys are so boring. Well, there should be plenty of excitement around this corner. As you run around the corner, you get a look at what's going on. Uh, do you scan the Digimon as you come around to check them out? Yes. All right. So what you know is you have a Nightmon in the lead. Uh, compared to the Night Chessmon, Nightmon you have a lot more history with. You know that they're strong commander Digimon, but they fall in behind more powerful Digimon. They're like, they're followers, and they'll follow like anyone, good or bad, as long as they're like strong enough a force of will to amass a group behind them. A uh, Nightmon will usually show up there and then probably act as like a general commander over the smaller factions, which is what it's overseeing right now. These are Pawn Chessmon, which are much smaller Digimon. Oh, they're so cute! Yeah, they're just small rookie level Digimon. Virus puppets, much like the Night Chessmon, you're detecting a theme here. And they are all doing various drills, just like poking their spears at each other or at um, set up 
not mannequins. What's the training du- training dummies? And all marching around. I've got four here. There's more than four, just all wandering around. This one nightmon just gives them orders. Lucky is gonna like coo over them a little bit. Like, oh, look at them. They're so small. <laughs> yeah, they're like <laughs> half your size. So <laughs> it's just a little tiny baby army. Uh, before we round the corner, he's going to turn around and look back at the group and be like, are we allowed to take any of these guys with us, or nah? Beatrice, like, absolutely not. Uh, no, um, Cherry's still talking to these guys, so she can't. Talking to brick walls. (laughs) Yeah. It's gotten to the point where I think now she's just, like, talking about her to them. (laughs) Um, Karanamon is occasionally, like, speaking up to be like, yeah, you know, like, reinforce Cherry's points or whatever. It's like a tiny hype man. Little yes man. <laughs> yeah. Alright, uh, go ahead and do a perform check for Cherry. Sure. <laughs> Let me remember now how to do this, even though we just uh, it. Charisma plus perform. Okay. Plus 3d6, right? Yep. Yeah. Let me do that thing where I copy roll 3d6 so I just have that. As a note, you should have like a list of little buttons on the upper left side of the screen. There's a dice in there. You can click it and check out your previous rolls and click those again oh. to re-roll. Oh. oh, that's really useful. And you can also like do the advanced roll thing and just write in what you want to roll it. Oh my god. Well. Yeah, stone walls. <laughs> They're not reacting to you. This is fine. She, she at this point, it doesn't matter to her. Yeah. Okay, so who's doing what? Almond's well, gonna continue sort of walking around, staying out of their way, but just looking at the castle, trying to see if there's any alternate way in. Yeah, uh, Chichu's gonna help. All right. Uh, move around a bit. Oh, hold on a second, just a moment. Uh, if Leolamon wants to move around too, that's fine, Maddie. Yep. Uh, as you move around, uh, are you being stealthy or just like walking outright? Just walking, um, but in a non-threatening kind of manner, casual. Oh, as you're going around, um, you do get noticed caught of you and the Nightmorn walks over towards you. Uh, holds the little Digimon. Hi. What brings you to this castle? You know, the job. Always on the grind, you know? (laughs) You see it blink, like, in its helmet. Blink, Mm. blink. What job? Oh, you know, just... Just uh, looking around, you know? Nice castle you got here. I want to see it inside. Can I do that? It kind of takes a step closer to you. It's, it doesn't have its sword drawn. It hangs its sword over its back, but you can see like one of its metal hands starts reaching up, and then it lowers it again. No intruders are allowed in the castle. Hmm. How come? It's by the queen's orders. Ooh, a queen? Is she cool? Is she strong? Beatrix is watching very carefully. Sorry, I'm back now, and uh, Lucky is scooted closer just in case. All right, as you guys get closer, it sees you. It's like, and now it draws its sword. Humans are not welcome in the castle. Yeah, Beatrix, Uh, humans are not welcome in the castle. She shoots him a glare. (laughs) What if we told you we ain't human? It, like, looks around for a second, like, it's confused now. What are you? Uh, yeah, sorry about these really ugly Digimon. Yeah, we're just, uh, yeah. Not everyone can be as cool and powerful as you. Someone's making a deception check here. <laughs> <laughs> so let's do perform. Perform oh, or persuade. 
uh, a perform. Take, You're I'll trying take... to pretend. Dang it. One okay, of you... so I don't have perform, but I have persuade. All right, go ahead. Roll persuade. All right. I'm also going to invoke my minor aspect of Charming Rogue to get it plus two to uh, <laughs> persuade. I will take it. <laughs> Nemo is just like behind you, like, they're so ugly. <laughs> so, and, uh, it would be and the old man is kind of nodding sadly. Charisma and persuade? Yeah. Okay. 16. <laughs> you genuinely confused this Nightmon. It's like, it keeps like looking from one to the other, and it, it can't quite figure it out. Then eventually just goes, return to the gates. And it, like, it moves a little closer to like, continue giving orders, but it does keep like turning back to look at you and make, it seems like if you keep going further forward around this way, it's gonna get a little twitchy. <laughs> She's just gonna like turn around and say very quietly, that was really close. The old man One does. of the pawn chessmon waves at you before Nightmon barks at it to get back to training. Oh, Chicho's gonna wave back at it with both his hands, like, hi, little guy, I love you, keep doing your best. The old man's gonna <laughs> smile at it. You know, like, you know that, you know that, um, you know that one part in The Lion King where Simba and Nala are babies and they do that smile with all the teeth? <laughs> yes. Yeah, the old man does that. I love that. All right. Uh, is Mitsuyo or Kenji up to anything, or are they just holding back for now? Mitsuyo oh. is going to advance a little bit, but stay behind, um, stay close by uh, Cherry. Okay. Kenji is going to go forward, but, you know, these guys are basically giant guards, and guards usually try and keep you out of things, and, you know, he heard at least this part. He didn't hear any of the Nightmon stuff down there, but <laughs> yeah, he's he's not about to just get like stabbed for no reason. So he's fine with staying back just a little bit. Also, I'm still gonna be here. I'm just gonna meet myself because I'm eating dinner now, but I'm still around. No problem. All right. Uh, I think at this point, um, Cherry has been talking to these dudes for a while. Yeah, uh, and is now like running out of things to say, so she's just kind of looking around. She's like, uh, "So, uh, geez, you're really not giving me much to go on here, guys. Um, what, what's, what's okay. the, oh, what's, what's Don't going on? What's with the, what's with the chessboard?" And is like pointing down into the chasm. I mean, uh, itself, as yeah. you're just asking that, you hear this big groaning, creaking sound, and the big doors behind the night chessmen start opening up. And they stand up, they move to the side, and another Digimon comes out from within the gates. It's not as tall as they are, but it's still like taller than you guys, and it just walks right out between them, and they are like add attention to it. And it just comes right out to stand before you guys. Uh, Leoman has heard the doors creaking and has moved to get a better look. I very, uh, Cherry very rudely takes out her digivice and scans it. <laughs> very right. blatant about it. Just yeah. You got a scan on this one as well. Continuing the theme, you can tell that this is a Bishop Chessmon. This is an ultimate level Digimon. So you're starting to be like, yeah, this. they did say there's a lot of strong Digimon signals in the castle, so... Uh, let me see. Where are my notes for Bishop Chessmon? All right. Bishop Chessmon comes out, looks out at you, and says, what's going to be my voice? Greetings, humans, Digimon. If I may ask you to return across the bridge for now, I will discuss matters with you involving the Castle of Hearts, and begins taking steps like towards the bridge, but they're large enough that it's going to be awkward if you guys are still standing on the bridge as they're beginning to walk over it. How long's, how long's uh, a while is what uh, Leoman's going to say. 
Pardon? Uh, Lilban, because it, it says, can you stay like on the other side for a while, right? I uh, just asked you to step across the bridge for the moment. How long is a moment? To talk. Oh, with like us or your your pals there or? With yourselves. You have business in the castle, after all. Okay. How are we going to talk when we're all the way over there? I will come with you and takes another step forward on the bridge and it's like starting to get pretty close to where you guys are now. Uh, okay. Karanaman is going to like tug, try and chug, tug Cherry back a little bit. Like, uh, hey, maybe we should uh, step away from that guy. A little yeah. bit. Sounds sounds reasonable. The old one's gonna sort of trot alongside um, Bishop Chessman and be like, "So you live in this castle or what?" Yes, we all live here. Nice digs. Lucky you. It could be warmer. Huh? Okay. Yeah, I <laughs> guess there's not much in the way. Uh. Huh. He started it, doesn't finish his thought. All right, so move yourselves as you guys are moving. Yeah, Kenji's going to turn around and be like, kind of like gesture, like, let's go, let's go. <laughs> like, Dilly Mom's like, wait, I didn't Kenji see the I wanted to see. I wanted to see the cat. <laughs> okay, fine. It's fine. I'll see it later. And then scampers on back. Kenji just, like, as quick, as quickly as he can, like, not even pretending that he is, like, yeah, this is my choice. Just completely like, nope, backing away. Right. Uh, Beatrix and Lucky will probably have to follow after Bishop Chessmon because it's moving yeah. like insistently yeah. enough to like push people across. So uh, position yourselves as you go. <clears throat> You still here, Maddie? Yeah. Yep. I like the idea of just you know, so just stepping over Prize One because he's you know only beach ball size, so he just kind of like bounces along after, I'm just like okay. Yep. Yeah. You know, she's she, she knows he's gonna follow. All right. Let's just. Okay. So. Uh... Bishop Chessman just keeps marching over the bridge. Um, does Leolmon go as well? Oh yeah, Leolmon's just kind of prancing along beside, uh, well in front of, I guess, like turning around yeah. every so often to ask him like some stupid question. Like, Once Bishop Chessman's on the other side, it like s stands at the side of the bridge and makes room for everyone else to walk past it. Cool. Yeah, let's just assume that everyone is on the other side. How are you? Uh, once everyone's passed, Bishop Chessmon steps back on the bridge and sits down on it and balances their staff over their legs and says, I was wondering what was going to come for us. Humans, not expected, but neither unwelcome to me. Oh, so you were, uh, you were expecting us? I was expecting something to happen. We were brought here, after all. By who? If I knew that would make things easier, why are we here and not where we come from? Why is our castle... And it just points, and like in the distance, you can see these snow mountains just kind of fade out into kind of like flat digital terrain, not anything specific. Why are we not in the digital world. I've been asking this, and I have not found good answers. Do you know? No, but that is why we're here. Yes, the good news, well, the good news is that this is something that we would like to help you with, uh, getting you back to the digital world, that is. I would very much appreciate that. However, my word is not the law of this castle, and the queen is taken with this new environment. She seems to believe it will make an excellent terrain for the continued expansion of our Chessmon Empire. 
Huh. Empire, I huh. do not like being here. However, I am an advisor. She has taken my words into consideration and chosen that we shall remain here and expand our grasp. Can you return us to the digital world? Out of Probably, game. Yeah. Probably. Yes. <laughs> out of out of game, can we? How does this thing nor like how does our work what you, normally go? What's happened in the past with digital point with the uh, digital incursions is you've gone into a location of the digital world that surfaced in Eden. You found an area that it differs each time, but there's something significant about the area, like a formation or a specific Digimon, or just like a rift in space, which is the binding point between the where the digital world intersects with Eden. And then you've... Uh, Kenji, uh, with one of her previous missions you've been on, has been able to do computer work to like kind of untangle it, otherwise applying a lot of power from your Digimon often just severs it, and then slowly this part of the digital world just sinks out of Eden and back into where it comes from. So you have sent places like this back to the digital world before. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Then that's that's our that's our uh, our main gig. I would very much appreciate it if you did this for us. However, I cannot bring you in through the gates because then your presence will be known. And when the queen knows that you are here, she will not react favorably. There are other entrances to the castle. It points with its staff down into the valley below, where the tunnels leading in through connecting through the dungeon. Or you could attempt other stealthy entrances from the side, though they are more defended. Oh, yeah. Uh, ran into that uh, nightmare over there. Managed to convince him that we were Digimon. Very close call. The night chess, the, the Bishop Chessmon, you actually, you've seen this a few times, which I think is telling for you guys, but it rolls its eyes. <laughs> you've seen this reaction from enough Digimon by now to so be like, I'm getting good at that. <laughs> they try closes his eyes as it says that. Like, you can tell it wants to massage its nose, but it doesn't have a nose. <laughs> it would be to my best interest to return and inform those known you have left. It would also be my best interest for you to not leave, but find your way into the castle and find the way to send us back. Sounds good to me. Sure we can find a way in. Uh, this isn't the first time I've uh, broken an energy, let's just say that. It nods and stands back up. Then I will return and inform my compatriots that you have taken your leave. I wish you well. And begins walking across back the bridge. So, um, what Leolmon is going to do is turn to everybody and say, Disguises, right? Or disguises, right? Yeah, that's a great idea! Beatrice is like, we're going to discuss our plan in full before we do anything. Uh, Cherry chaps her, taps her chin and is like, hmm. But what if we disguised ourselves as chess pieces? That's we all probably, mind. you're a genius! Parismon's just gonna like, how? <laughs> Kuranamon's like, of course she um, oh. Mitsuyo just starts okay with this. Well, that we saw those little guys, right? Yeah. 
We kill. No, never mind. This is a bad. This is a no, bad. No, plan, I can't hurt them. Look at them. They're doing their best out there. Yes, but if we can't. No, you know what? Never mind. Let's let's figure something else out. This I'm is still a bad plan. Disguises. <laughs> I think it could be fun. If we now bear with me. If we knock out those little guys, they're small, but maybe we can make it work. Prize mom, yeah. still a beach ball sized piece of plastic bounces in place and again. But how? We do it very well, is the thing. But, <laughs> this I Bridget the player is not actually suggesting this, but oh, yeah. I think she, uh Sherry's <laughs> like, yeah. We could, uh... Hmm. It's too bad you're a circle and not a square, because then we could make you a dice. Are, are there dice in chess? No, but it fits the way I'm playing. <laughs> or, uh... Is there anything round in chess? Or, or if you were a square, we could paint you to look like the checkerboard pattern. So whenever we flipped you over, you could hide in the squares. Wow, that would have been a good. circle. Beatrix just like has her arms folded and just frowning. Like she's not convinced. Uh, let's see, is there anything circular? In how? Um, she's like, yeah. lucky staring how off in the distance, trying to think. How does uh, Eden work vis-a-vis, -vis, like, stuff like paint? Because I'm not saying we should paint Prizemon, but I'm saying we should paint Prizemon. <laughs> you don't really have any of that sort of materials available. Uh, as part of, you know, a special company hired by Kamashura, you've got a lot of privileges with regards to the online forms you have compared to regular people. So Kenji especially could probably like change your appearance. Oh, that's could, good. But could I change the appearance of the Digimon? Because <laughs> that seems a little more like what makes them exist. Mitsuyo's gonna speak up and say, uh, Kenji, could you um, change our avatars to make us look uh, upon Chessmon? I mean... Maybe? It would be weird, but I could try. It's a little on the illegal side, but I've seen it done. Sometimes illegal is the best way. Not all the time, but often. Oh, that's a computer roll. Okay. That's what computer uh, Just as a reminder, all of you guys have points of inspiration, and don't forget to use those when you decide you want to use them. It is computer plus intelligence, right? Yeah. I'm also so am I, just am I doing like <laughs> am I doing like a general one for all of us, or do I need to do it like per person? No, this is just a general one. Okay, it's showing how well just your to be clear, how 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 uh, just to be clear, how legal is this plan <laughs> changing our avatars? Is Generally, what I know. <laughs> It's not outside of this, but you have special dispensation for your work. So it's like, as long as you're doing this as part of the job, you know, it'll be tolerated. Okay. So okay. Is it slash roll or exclamation point roll? I never Slash remember. roll. Okay. Slash R that, works as well if you don't want to type the extra three characters. I'm copy pasting right now. Okay. So let's see if I can make us look like a bunch of pawns. <clears throat> I believe in you. <laughs> yeah, I think you can! With the 27? <laughs> uh, I'm wow. really good at computer. <laughs> I have one job. Yeah, that plus 14. Wow. Uh, yeah, it's no problem at all for Kenji to just swap all of your avatars over to appear as Horn Chessmon. And you even... Uh, who would you say is the leader of this group? Who does Kenji think is the leader? Uh, well, he doesn't think he's the leader. 
Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna say probably test character. She, All right. she, she's been telling people to stop doing things, and also been towards the front, <laughs> so that makes, an, that makes uh, as much sense as anything else. Yeah, you're able, uh, if you choose to, you can make Tessa's character look like a Nightmon instead of a Pawn Chessmon. Ooh. I'm trying to figure out if I think that, if, if they would, like, I feel like they probably lose Pawn Chessmon all the time. Trying to fi figure out if they would lose track of a Nightmon. Yeah, let's do it just a bit. It just, just so that, I mean, admittedly, that does mean that Tess going to have to do the talking, but, you know. That's not Kenji, so he's fine with that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, so I'm not going to do the icon replacements right now, but you can think of each of the humans as looking like Pawn Chessmon. Uh, Beatrix looks like a Nightmon. Uh, as for your Digimon... Yes, I think you're able to store your Digimon in your Digivices. Oh. All right, let's... Uh... That's a thing in Eden, so... You oh, can store cool. your Digimon on you and then just go. All right, get back in the ball, little guy. Uh, square <laughs> this thing. Get back in here. But uh, I don't <laughs> like it. It's so cold. Where do uh, I go? Like, uh, can I... He reluctantly goes. If, if 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 he protested, Lucky was gonna try and like hide him in his sweater that he's not wearing anymore because he's blind. <laughs> sweater that stopped existing. Cause now you're on yeah. chessmon. Yeah. Hide him in the just... on chessmon armor. Nemon is just gonna jump in there and take a nap. <laughs> Don't mind. All right. So it sounds like you've got a group of one nightmon and four pawn chessmon. Coronamon's gonna reluctantly go back into the device, like, I can't help you now, but if I must. <laughs> Before uh, going into the Digivice, uh, Dilimon, like, gives Kenji's foot a big tap with his foot. He's like, good job! I mean, Kenji would smile at getting positive reinforcement, but he doesn't have a face right now, so... <laughs> <laughs> He smiles on, in his heart. His heart is smiling. <laughs> his heart is smiling, and we can feel it in our bones. Uh, All right, yeah, so what do you guys do? Mon's totally okay with popping in the, the jigger. All right, so what were our options for entering the castle? Um, either around the side, but it was more protected, or in the tunnels underneath, which I believe are in the chasm. Or you can try for the front gate. Yeah, or we can, yeah. Now that we're in, <laughs> we right in. front gate. That's the worst that could happen. <laughs> we all die. True. First, 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 right first session. It's fine. My Friday group lost half of our party yesterday. Oh. Because we oh, all boy. collectively, every single one of us, rolled a one. Oh my god. To protect from a boss's attack. All of us. Every god. single one of us. It was awful. It happens. Oh, I'm sure that won't happen this time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright, so who's doing what? Well, you're the Nightmon. You have to make the decisions. Uh, I didn't want to actually be the leader again. <laughs> <laughs> well, you shouldn't have convinced Kenji that you're the leader with your actions. That's what happens when you're the voice of reason. Yeah. <laughs> um, you're the one that didn't okay. suggest punching things, so that made that gave you a plus in Kenji's book. Okay, but it was just kind of like thinking aloud, like. If we can go through the front gate, that'll probably be our quickest way inside. But, uh, she's just kind of like wondering how easy it's going to be to convince these. Oh, we went with the worst idea, and I love it. <clears throat> All 
um, while we're all standing here, uh, Chichiro is going to, uh, like, gesture to the castle, like, uh, should we go underneath it or around it? Because he has not thought of just walking in, he's just like, we gotta be sneaky. How about a, how about a, how about a back door? Or a side door, didn't they, uh, the, oh god, I, you know how I am with names, uh, the bishop mod? had suggested something like that, maybe. Yeah, he mentioned there was like a, a side door, more guarded, but we're all disguised now. Though oh, we, we could try and infiltrate that group of uh, those, uh, baby baby trainees. Yeah, well, that'd be... Probably don't call them baby trainees when you look like one. <laughs> At least not to their face. Uh, I'll do my best, but... They're just very cute. They're so cute. I want to like, take one home with us. It's also, like an army of babies. Don't, don't call them cute when you're them too, because again, identical. I feel very cute right now, so... I've never Question. felt more cute in my life. Question, can the, um, can the Digimon hear what their tamers are saying? Uh, yeah, I'd say so. Can they also talk? <laughs> I think it's important that your Digimon be able to hear and talk, and when they want to, they can leave the Digivice. Uh, okay, so in that case, the Almond goes, Oh my god, hurry up! <laughs> you like, have a lot of rowdy Digimon in storage right now. <laughs> okay. So are we going for a side entrance? Oh, I think so. Should we go for the side that doesn't have guys that we know about? That would be the safer option, I would think. Okay, like, so do we say we were on patrol, or what's a good lie for why we were over on this side? Where the humans just went, and were told that they left. Patrol. Yeah, patrol. patrol sounds good. <laughs> We uh, decided to. We saw them leaving, and uh, yeah, something like that. <laughs> well, I'm glad we've gotten all the details hammered out. <laughs> no loose ends there. <laughs> oh, Ooh. position yourself, marching orders. Do we sit put night uh, in the front or in the back? <laughs> Also, I just realized... Chichiro is going to stay behind Beatrix, more or less. Okay, I guess I'm in front. We'll put the Don't know. Down here for the moment. They're in the box. The digi box. Digi storage. Kitty. Um... Okay, so if we're going in the side entrance, where do we want to put ourselves on the map? Well, we we'll probably have to at least acknowledge the bishops on our way- I mean, the knights on our way past, so... I assume we just want to be on the- like, on, or at least getting across the bridge kind of thing. Right. So, do, 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 up the bridge. And I guess you're right. reading. You guys just begin crossing the bridge. One nightmon with four chessmon just marching whoop, 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 whoop behind it. As you cross over, you can see the night chessmon, and they're still just standing there. They're not like close together like they were when you guys approached before. They are just standing in the entrance, in front of the gates, just weapons in the same pose you saw them initially. Just. On guard, but not guarded. Okay, um, Beatrix kind of, she gives them a nod. I assume Nylon can actually, like, move its head enough to... <laughs> yep, you give a nod. They nod. Just, like, they they see you, they look at you, they see your nod, and then they just, they kind of, like, unfocus. They're not, they don't focus on you. Okay, so then she's just, she's going to continue around to the side of the... Castle. All right. Um, so I assume up 
this like top end of the map is where we're going. I feel like where we're going. Choice. Um, I think we were going down towards where the uh, pond and the night were, but maybe I don't know. What are we doing? <laughs> Left or right? <laughs> You're in front. You have to start walking. <laughs> It's really suspicious if you nod and then just stop ahead of them. I mean, I'm just making sure I know which direction <laughs> I'm... Let's go, let's go, uh... Is that right or left? So that's down here. Left that's down is left. Wouldn't it? We should go left. We can right, uh, okay. hide with those little guys. Alright, I guess we're going down here. <laughs> Alright! God, why did you put me in charge? Because you seemed <laughs> in charge. Yeah, gotta agree there. Bridget, you still around? Yeah. Sorry. I like the idea of like this all being out loud. <laughs> it's just like, why do we you seemed in charge? <laughs> no, this is um, right. what Beatrix isn't that I know, like, I'm just questioning like, this. This is I, me questioning this. <laughs> I just love the idea of it being in charge. <laughs> Uh, as you group around, you can see the point dress still in training. This nightmon turns around to you, sees the other one. It's like, how goes the patrol? Uh, yes, we, we, were, we were making sure that the, that the humans had left the area. Leomon is, like, trying his darndest to not start laughing at his, like, useless tamer. <laughs> Leave her alone. The Nightmon blinks for a second. Like, I thought they were Digimon. Uh, some of them were. Some of, there were some humans with them as well. Trickery. Yeah. <laughs> it like raises its sword, which it had out. I was going to goes trickery, but we see through it. Uh, yeah, we do. Yeah, real sharp eyes. <laughs> uh, uh, Nightmon just approach it as you come. Join us for training. Like directs the point just one. Go join your fellows. Uh, all right. Up two, three, I'm, I'm four, not sure. five. I'm not sure we're supposed to be actually. <laughs> yeah, all Mitsuyo right. just the, goes. Some of the point just one start moving out to pair up with you for training drills. <laughs> I'm gonna get <laughs> You're just gonna have to do this. Huh? <laughs> no, I was moving around. <laughs> Okay, I got it. Okay. <laughs> All right. The Nightmon just like takes stand and starts like giving commands for like and block and thrust. So let's uh, do some rolls for each of you. All right. <laughs> All right. Are our spears and shields actually existing? <laughs> I don't know how well hacking did that. Like. Hey, with a 27, I feel like we're good. They're physical objects, but this is going to be based off of your stats. Okay, I, I just wanted to make sure that we weren't going to, like, okay, and block, and then it just goes right through and stabs us in the arm or something. Because All right, have real so things. let's go from the start with Lucky. You are, Each of these um, Pawn Chessmon is making a attack roll against you. All right. So uh, I discovered something cool. If you type your um, D6 with then greater than... And then a number, it'll tell you how many successes. So with a 46 greater than 5, I know I get one success. All right. So uh, roll Lucky's Dodge. All right. So that would be... 11d6. Yeah. <laughs> Lucky's a fighter. Yeah, that that's sense? what he's here for. He's got no knowledge Bless skills him. at all. Bless his beautiful heart. <laughs> Uh, so that'd be 11d6, uh, what was it? Greater than 5. Greater than, that's... Is that opening, the one pointing away? Towards, or? Yeah, opening the one towards point towards the 5. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the pawn chest one does, like, a spear thrust, and you just catch it with this spear, with the shield you have, and you easily, like, just push it aside. It's no problem at all for you. Now all right. you get to make an attack roll. So all right. Not... Oh, that's right. You have to do the thrust. Accuracy back. d6. Accuracy d6. Okay. Which is the same thing. So if you click the dice, 
you'll see your last 10 rolls, and you can click re-roll. It's so, it's just, it is another 11 d Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Lucky is Holy fast. <laughs> All right. Oh, wait, wait. With his bare hands. Greater than five. Yeah, those those are both backwards. Yeah, so only six, only one success. Oh, sorry. Yeah. That's you didn't fine. just fucking obliterate him, but you did. Yeah, I was about to freak out that you actually just killed this thing. <laughs> so now I roll dodge d6. I mean, it should dodge. That's the point of the training. <laughs> All right. One to one success, so those cancel out. So you do do your damage. Which is ten. <laughs> Reduced by its armor, which is six, you do four points of damage. Jesus. Also, I think we lost somebody. Pardon? Somebody dropped from the call. Oh. Uh yep. Bridget's gone. Oh no. Hopefully they get back soon. We'll do everyone else's situation. Uh, Bridget, Bridget did mention Thunderstorm. Right. Oh, internet might have so gone out. Yeah, anyway, um, after you knock aside the spear, Lucky is right into this. Lucky just stabs forward with his own spear, hits the Paul Jess one right on, like, knocks it on his ass. And that one just roars, GOOD! <laughs> You've been approved of. Nice. The bridge is apparently still here. Lucky is, like, glowing with pride inside his costume. Alright, okay. uh, Discord, Discord crashed. crashed. Okay, so next, let's go with Mitsuyo. Wonderful. All right. All right. All right. I gotta um, roll an attack on you. So that is four d six. Okay. Um, just roll dodge because you need to wait. Zero success and automatic miss. I think that's an auto miss. Excellent. Wonderful. So don't even attempt. You just can of... I? Can I? Can I roll my accuracy anyway? Uh, no. Roll your dodge. Oh, dodge! Yeah. Right, 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 right. Getting ahead of myself a little bit. Just to show how much you Which is you nine for you, thing. so you're good. You have nine some really good stats. Six. Yeah. Yes. Alright. Yep, you like you just easily block the spear thrust at you. Uh go ahead and roll your accuracy. Wonderful. Alright. Accuracy nine. Okay, now that you've gotten that's that's the same thing, right? Hold on, you can click the dice to re-roll. How do you do that? Uh, oh. You see the d20 on the upper left in the little ribbon of buttons? Oh, yeah. You click there that and then is. you'll see your last 10 rolls. All right. Okay, so that's four plus your damage. Four plus just so I do I roll the number of damages I have or no, no. it's just plus so that's fourteen points of damage. <laughs> <laughs> you pin it to the ground and kick it. Uh yeah, this form just more like it completely misses you and you just turn around and stick your spear out. Maybe a little more force than you expect, or maybe you underestimate it because it just pops. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And th there's a moment of um, just a deep silence <laughs> as the Pokemon stares at you. I stare it's back. Like... <laughs> okay, <laughs> stare back. All right. Um, give me a bravery roll. Willpower okay. plus bravery. Uh, willpower. Oh, that's not great. <laughs> All right, so that's sixty-six. Are these little pawn guys? Three okay? six plus six. Three d six. Uh, three d six. Oh, okay. Sorry, what was the question? Oh, I like, roll... are these little guys okay? <laughs> well, uh, not... just destroyed one. <laughs> oh, just out! i exploded it. They don't seem to be very strong. So 13. Uh, the Nightmon just like hurriedly walks over to you and grabs you by the arm and begins pulling you away from the group. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh. Mm -hmm. 
Beatrix just like has her head in her hand. <laughs> uh, let's do our other checks. Uh, Kenji. Okay. Please don't. Do we assume me mine happens last? Hmm? Do we assume that my damage does like goes last? It kind of happens all. All at once. Okay. okay so we'll so do the other ones and then we'll come back to you. Dodge. Right. Uh yeah. So dodge d6. Hey, I'm halfway decent at that. Make sure I'm putting the right one. Okay. There you go. Okay, so you completely dodge that. Now it's expecting you to make an attack back at it. Okay. Hey, mine aren't identical because I'm not designed to fight things. Uh, accuracy, okay. All right, my dodge is 3d6. So that counters out, so just your raw damage. Which is like three. <laughs> yep. So that's uh, negated completely by the armor. And like, uh, you manage to step just away from its spear when it does, and you do a thrust back, and it just knocks it off with its shield. And like, you do a very polite and friendly exchange. <laughs> I kind of just like poke at it, like, there, there we go, we did it. Yay. <laughs> All right. Uh, no sighting of Bridget yet. Well, didn't Bridget roll defense first? Or is Br <laughs> I'm curious. Uh, let's, let's have Bridget just. Bridget goes first. Bridget sees the rest <laughs> of he's going and, like, outspeeds this one. <laughs> just stabs the shit out of it. Cherry just goes right for it. Uh, in the meantime, Mitsuyo, uh -oh. um, you're receiving a dressing down. Honestly, it's not a um, it's not like a suspicion or anything, but you're you're receiving a very stern dressing down about not measuring yourself and not like holding back, and it's. You're, it's a very, very, like, windbag lecture you're getting from this Nightmon as it's distracted with just going at you, just giving you the telling off of a lifetime for not showing proper care in training. Welcome back. Okay. So, hey, Mitsuyo is Mitsuyo's just going to nod along. Mm -hmm. um, Beatrix, with what you know, how are you feeling? Um. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, I mean, th there's probably not much Beatrix can do for the minute, but. <laughs> well, right now, uh, with Nightmon stepped away, you are the highest ranked person here with all of these Horn Chessmon around. I mean, that is. Yes, that is true. Um. <laughs> God. I mean, but like, well, like, we can't really do much until we've got the group back together. So she's, you know, I guess just keep watching over them while they do oh. their training. <laughs> Speaking of. Uh, Bridget, are you in the call? Cannot hear you. Well, I see them in the call, in the but call. no voice. Uh, I guess we'll just uh, assume these two had a... What, what are Cherry's stats? God, you've got so many good fighters this time. You really learned a lesson from last time. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even here for last time, but I felt it in my bones. That we <laughs> I'm sorry for traumatizing you all last time. <laughs> okay, well, um, I just remember hearing that somebody died and was like, okay. There's some back and forth training. Uh... Lucky did a fair amount of damage. Kenji and 
I don't know what Cherry's specifically doing, but Cherry's just going with the flow. Uh, Lucky, do you like notice that the fact that you kicked the crap out of this little thing, and maybe you saw the other one got popped, start like pulling your punches a little? Yeah. All right. Try not to get too, too oh, into yeah. it. There was Bridget's stab. Yep. Okay. That's a dodge. Yeah, and it misses. Yeah, you guys are just, you're, it's pretty calm. Like, Kenji, even for you, you're noticing these little guys are not very strong. They're, they're hard so workers. But they're hard workers, but they do not have a lot of, like, big strength. So even you are, like, pretty able to, like, just, your shield, basically, every time you hold it out, they just ping right off of it. They're so cute. Makes a little metal. Okay, noise. eventually Nightmon marches back with this pawn chessmon that does not know proper decorum and training and went far too hard and is going to have to work double shifts to make up for the personnel it's harmed. <laughs> Mitsuyo has, seems to be unfazed, but it's hard to tell given that uh, she currently has no face. <laughs> all right and um do any of you like try and do anything or do you just keep with training for a while uh no i can't think of, like we are short a guy now though Mitsuyo slowly raises her hand and says, I can take on two of them. <laughs> if I must. That is not necessary. <laughs> you get a stern look from the Nightmon, who then says, raise your shield, and pulls its own sword off its back. Oh, fun. Ooh, um, snap. Be Beatrix is like, um... If you don't mind, I would prefer to take my squad back inside and reprimand that pawn chessmon myself. Uh, yep. Just make a uh, perform check just for how you're keeping up this overall show. Yeah. Um, so charisma plus perform. Charisma plus perform. Okay. I'm definitely not streaming, so I don't know what he was talking about. All right. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Okay. How would... I'm not op I'm not optimistic about <laughs> I'm just gonna contest that with the brains of this Nightmon. Oh, you <laughs> Nightmon's like <laughs> discipline them fit sternly but fairly. And like gives the order for its squad to go back to training with each other and to break off of um you guys. Except uh, Lucky's gonna do like a little like salute at the guy he was fighting and then turn around and march back over here. He seems really it into it like yeah, it bangs its shield didn't... with its spear like as a respect gesture. Yeah. If you didn't know that that was Lucky, you may have just confused him for one of the actual Ponmon. He's really into this. Mitsuyo seems almost disappointed that she didn't get to throw down with uh, <laughs> with Nightmon, but says Beatrix nothing. Beatrix is extremely disappointed in you too. Um, Beatrix <laughs> is gonna go bald by the end of this mission from the stress <laughs> from these from the squad. Um, but yeah, she gathers the squad together, and she's like, "Yeah, we'll do." And then she kind of yeah gathers everyone. Um, starts to head off. You know, Is there like, like a side entrance? The... Or... Yeah, can they see where this side entrance is? Uh, make a perception check. Oh god, this would be very embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> Please have good eyes. I've got a plus 10 on perception. I oh, think I'm fine. <laughs> yeah. Your okay. X-ray vision kicks in, and... Uh, 
Uh, yeah, you spot at the back of here. You were looking around while everyone else was training and trying to distract yourself from the potential disaster. You spot like in the back corner of the castle, there's a smaller entrance that's like big enough for Nightmon, but not like the big Chessmon you've been seeing going around. Right. All right. Um. So yeah, just gonna head in that direction, I guess. <laughs> no one's All gonna right. stop us. If that's the case, you successfully lead up to the entrance. Um, as you reach out to open it, it just opens and you step inside the Castle of Hearts. Cool. We made it. You guys did it. <laughs> we only had to kill one dude to get there. <laughs> that guy didn't we didn't even have him. to kill him, it was an accident. <laughs> he got obliterated. <laughs> you really did. Uh, Mitsuyo is going to quietly say to Beatrix, um, it was very weak. Just in passing, she just says that and keeps moving forward. Uh, Beatrix just, uh, sighs. It's shaped up. All right, I should zoom out so I can see where the... Uh, you won't be able to see yourselves yet. I'm trying to draw... Yeah, I'm, I'm just the, zooming it out so I can shadows, yeah. see where it appears when it does. That'll do. Uh, entering through a back entrance in the castle, you have entered a barracks. Uh, there is sight of weaponry in, stored on the walls, boxes and barrels, and a single metallic Digimon sitting in the middle of the room, its head just spinning slowly in circles, always the same direction. Like, it's not spinning one way and winding back, it's just spinning constantly. It's like a globe. Yeah. You spin me right friend. Maybe right friend. Like a... What would you like to do? Uh Mitsuyo's gonna hang near uh near Beatrix. Can our, our Digimon come back out now? Uh, just a I robot. Mean, you can let them out whenever you want to. Probably not. Well, this probably not a good idea right now. Yeah. Let's, All right. Yeah. Let's yeah hold on to it until we actually need the Digimon because I know we will just. <laughs> yeah. Um. As as per usual, if no one stops her, um, Cherry is just going to start walking towards this Digimon, but with this jaunty, uh, pon Pondemon. Pondemon? Uh, are we still, still the Pond Chessmon? But yeah, yeah we're still Pond Chessmon. Uh, Pond Chessmon body, so, like, very robotic and clunky. Uh, That's adorable. Approach this Digimon and start talking to it. All right. Uh, even compared to the night chessmon outside, you get absolutely zero reaction from this thing. Um. So you said the barracks is like yes, that one more time. My, pardon? My audio cut out for a second. What did you say? Uh, even compared to the night chessmon, you get zero reaction from this thing. Hmm. Uh, Mitsuyo's gonna try to scan it, if we right. haven't done that already. Yep, you get a scan, you get a read on that. Uh, this is a... I gotta open up the character sheet for this thing. This is a Tinmon. It's a small Digimon. It's smaller than you guys. Not that much, but just a little bit below your height. You know it's a robotic Digimon. Uh, you know that it's an ultimate level. So despite being small oh and like, unassuming looking, it's actually quite strong. Jesus. And when you say smaller, that's... when you say smaller than us, you mean smaller than us or smaller than Pawn Chessmon us? Oh, smaller than the humans. They're taller than the Pawn Chessmon. Okay. Right. 
Uh, but yeah, you you get you know they're powerful, but they're also very that the robotic thing is that way for a reason. They're very like they will follow a command and that command only. And the way this thing's head is spinning and sitting in place, you get the feeling it's either not got an active command or its active command is just to watch. Okay. Uh, we all mom gonna complain from inside the Digivice. Can we get moving? Come on. Um, you said there was Beatrix, stuff in the barracks, Beatrix right? Beatrix kisses at him to shut up first. <laughs> uh, yeah, so the walls have some, like, weaponry hanging from it, like, big Nightmon-sized axes and weapons. There's also, like, a barrel just full of horn chest monsters and, like, a stack of shields and that. There's just some boxes that are cracked open. Some have straw in them. Some have, like, um, some metal plates. Uh, Lucky's gonna grab one of the metal plates and, like, look at it. Like, whoa, what's this? Beatrice is like, will you get back in ranks, both of you? <laughs> <laughs> She's growing into it. Um, yes, sir! Just tops back over. We're both into this. We're both way too into this. <laughs> Leolmon is kind of cracking up a little bit. And she she's kind of like quietly. She doesn't she doesn't know if this like Kingmon can hear her, but she's gonna quietly like, all right, if it's it's not responding to us, so I think it's safe for us to just pass through. Lucio starts walking. <laughs> all right, uh, move as you will. Where are you gonna go? What are you gonna do? She's uh, so just gonna walk. Go? We're there still upon chat. We're still like in disguise, right? Yeah. So where can we go? Like, are those is... doors in the direction? Yeah. Yeah. Looking around, you can see two doors here and up. He well, you can't see it from here, but you can see like a doorway over there. And as uh, Mitsuyo walks up here, you can also see uh, some stairs just coming down right here. Cool. Okay. Any indication of where any of them might lead? There, no, any signage? Doors, no signage. Plain doors and just some stairs going up. Okay. I guess we're just picking a direction. <laughs> Quick, who knows about how castles are designed? Who put, who put, who put Not any of these guys, I'm guessing. Who put castle design in their background? <laughs> Shit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, from outside, um, it, I think based on where we entered, the one in the like the right corner seems like I'd be going more into the castle. Um, I mean, I mean we're, we're assuming this map is aligned the same. That's true. Way, but, but if we came in from this side, I assume. Yeah, true. Um, all right. Beatrix is going to start heading towards this door in the corner. All right. Uh, compared to the other one, this is weighs a little narrow. You could fit through it as a Nightmon, but it's going to be a little bit of a squeeze for the Nightmon. Hmm. Is it going to look a little sus if this Nightmon is trying to squeeze through the doorway? Probably a little. Alright. Um. She kind of, you know, qu like, kind of quickly turns around and starts heading towards the staircase. Alright. Is everyone following after? Yes, it means who is, yeah. I feel like splitting up's a bad idea, so yes. All right. In that case, everyone groups together. And we are going to be doing another change. I've already got the second floor set up because it has its issues. So let me just do a reveal of where you're walking into here.
so as you come walking out of the staircase, uh, you've got a stone hallway just ahead, which pretty quickly ends in a lot of wood and a lot of books. You have walked into a library. Oh, there we go. It was like super blurry for a second. I was like, yeah, these are largest maps. It's still super blurry for me. It hasn't quite. Hasn't caught up yet. Yeah, yeah, you've got like just a whole bookcase, rows and rows of bookcases stacked upwards. It's pretty good. Uh, are they written in languages we can identify? Or are they all in Digicode? You just pop a book off and flip it open? Mm hmm. Yeah, it's all in Digicode. All right. Uh, I half expected Taurus to be like, and the bookcase swirls around and you <laughs> <laughs> Terry just kind of is like, eh, shrugs and she kind of shoves the book back in roughly. Can any of us read this? That's uh, mighty bold to assume that I read. <laughs> <laughs> um, high computer I... high computer stats means you've got a good chance of having learned digicode otherwise if you've spent a lot of time with um, the digital security division you can make a role to read it otherwise you can work with your digimon and any yeah. digimon that's you know particularly learned or interested in reading would be able to read digicode <laughs> Does that apply to any of us? I don't think it does, actually. <laughs> I think it's just a group of idiots. I don't think any of your Digimon have any interest in books. God, um, no. Nope. I don't think so. But I have a high computer stat. <laughs> Go. <laughs> I mean, Go. Do it, just read a book. There's a lot of books. Fine, I'll just flip through a book. All right. Uh, roll computer. Okay. Plus intelligence, I assume, right? Yeah. So 3d6 plus whatever. Yeah. Plus that ridiculous 14. Yeah. Don't worry, I rolled pretty bad. Only got a 20. Uh, even still, like a 20 is a strong roll. You don't have any problem reading digit. Well. Have you specifically studied Digicode? Do you feel like your character's learned Digicode? I think he just knows mostly normal code. Like, he might have picked up a little bit of Digicode, just coincidentally, but not, like... Alright, let me just, uh, just a bit of a fate roll. Basically, if it's simple, I probably could pick it up. Uh, you pick up and flip open a book, and it's... Digicode isn't exactly like code. There's some similarities that you can... You can't really read the words so much as read the intent, and you get the feeling this is like military history, and that's the best you've got out of that book. Dude, are, are the books like marked at all on the side? Or are these just like blank books? Um, there's some digicode written on the, like the spine. Okay, can I at least just compare and see if any of these look like. Like, it, it, does it look like the spine of this book? would be just something like, oh, hey, this is a date. So this is all a bunch of the same kind of information. Uh, the row you pulled it out from all have, like, really similar names, except for, like, one character difference at the end. You, at a guess, you'd say they're numbered. Okay, yeah, this, is, this, this isn't helpful. I'm just going to put it back. Okay, guys, there's nothing helpful on these bookshelves. Are you sure? Okay, I grab a different book, just from a different, like, <laughs> section, just... Does it look like more of the same nonsense? It's not really, it's very dense to you. I'm putting it back, Doesn't yes, I am, I am now sure. Good enough for me. Guess we better get moving on, then. Is that a door up in the top left? Uh, what you see, I'm, I've been able to, I can only do so much with the map given, so what you actually see, the, um, there's a door there, but it's like at a higher up level, so there's like a little staircase inside of this room that leads up to this doorway at the top. 
So like at ground level, there's bookcases, but there's a staircase that goes over the top of the bookcases and there's a doorway at the top up there. Is it big enough for Tess? <laughs> it is not. Mm. Um, does anyone want to take a look up there and see what's through that door? Oh, me! I'll do it! She's she, she just going to go. He's ready. Where's the staircase? Alright, uh, yeah, just just uh, along the upper wall here. So you walk up to yep. it? Yep. You walk up, push open the door? Yep. Can take right. a look. So you step inside, and as you step inside, what happens is there's a sudden like movement more than you'd expect it to and something whacks into you it's huge so you can't quite see what it is you see pink and when it hits you it's not with any force but it's really strong and it pushes you back you don't fall off the staircase but you get knocked back by something big pink and fluffy just smacking against you and then a voice calls up to you that says sorry and that's what you get from there. Um, all right. <laughs> Sorry about that. Just gonna turn around and go back down the stairs. <laughs> there is something absolutely massive and fluffy in the way of the door. And, and I don't know fluffy. how to get by. Yeah, like, I, I couldn't even see what it is. It's just fluffy, pink, big, massive, gargantuan. That's a big word, too. Did All right, you, I get it. Did you try to scan it? Oh, uh, no, I'm going to go do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. When you walk up there again, you can see that whatever hits you has moved away, and you've just got a banister just in front of you. And oh. as you get up, you hear some voices, and that same voice you that called out sorry before just says, just one of the staff. It, it, it's fine. Do you go up to the banister and look over it? Yeah. Okay. Here for a good time, not for a long time. Let's go. <laughs> I love the idea. It's like, oh, you had the one in a million chance of not being murdered instantly. They're like, well, go check again. <laughs> <laughs> you look over the banister and you see below you a huge dining table. And at that dining table, you see a number of Digimon either seated at it or seated around it. And they are all just sitting there, either eating food or talking amongst themselves. Oh, wow. Oh, this oh, is, yeah, big and pink. Yeah. <laughs> and fluffy. You make a pretty quick estimate that the j largest of them all, which is like coiled around the room and its tail is just waving up and down, like below where the banister is, and you get the feeling it just hits you by accident as it's waving its tail around. All right, let's, uh, can I scan the big pink guy from here? Uh, you raise your device and you do a, well, roll a stealth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna, we're gonna, uh, oh, fuck. What the? I love the sound of that. What? Stuff. All right. You okay, that Bridget. What the? Is there music playing? No. I don't know. Where, where is that coming from? Okay, hold on. Like an ad just popped up in the background. <laughs> oh my! What the fuck is going on? My my okay? launched. What, what launched? Oh, what's happening? No, what? What do I roll for stealth again? Uh, 3d6 plus agility plus stealth. Oh, Jesus. Alright, so it's a 10. 18. Alright. Uh, there are a lot yeah, of okay, eyes in so... there, though. <laughs> I'm scared. You, you do a scan, and just as you're pulling the uh -oh. digivice down one of them the um one closest to you the one here turns her head and just here she said oh turns her head and just looks up and she sees a porn chessmon just sticking its head over the banister and she smiles a little and then looks back at the others <laughs> 
Lucky has never felt so lucky. <laughs> I think at this point we'd probably me. walk back a little. Yeah, Lucky's gonna scoot back into like the library properly. Like okay. gently when you, close the door. Like when you come back in there, as possible. Yeah. Once you do that, you're able to take a look at your Digivice and you see you don't get a good reading on the specific nature of the Digimon, which means it's one that hasn't been logged before, but data readings do suggest it is a mega level Digimon. Oh! Hmm. Big, big zone. Big zone. So what do you tell the others? So, uh, through, through that door, uh, it's a big, big old table, and around that table is a bunch of really powerful Digimon. The one I could get a reading of is a mega level. I don't know what the rest are, but it's probably around there too. Uh, yeah, one of them saw me, but it just kind of smiled and went back to talking to its neighbors. So I think we should probably not go through that door again. Probably not, although that's probably the huge, huge data reading. Yeah, I, well, no kidding. There's like six of them, seven of them. I don't know, there's a lot. There was a bunch. Hmm. Well, that's just great. <laughs> and like the the thing that I bumped into is big enough that it's wrapped around the table. Yeah, I feel like we're all gonna we're gonna get a a little a little bit smacked down if we try to engage yeah. at the moment. Maybe Let's we should uh, cross go our back. Fingers. Let's go back the way we came and... Does it look suspicious if we go back into the room? Because, like... Well, I mean, where else can we go? I don't know! Yeah. <laughs> it's just that most there's no, of... there's no, There's no other exits to this room, right? Uh, there's no, another just... doorway, but it also won't fit you as a Nightmon. <laughs> Um, I can uh, check out the other doorway real fast. <laughs> yeah, does anyone want to scout this one? <laughs> it's probably not got giant Digimon on the other side. Go in. It's the exact same doorway somehow, just walking around. <laughs> no. If nobody else wants to, Lucky will go and scout it out, because he's had some pretty good luck with it so far. Yeah, um... Cherry's not very stealthy <laughs> at all. Just constant bubblegum popping noises. From inside the, uh, uh, the... <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> the poor chest one. <laughs> They're really awkward, no idea what is forming them popping noises now. So is this the doorway over here in this corner, or...? Uh, right here, yeah. Okay, we're gonna check it out. Alright. You open the door and there's like, the walls are completely lined with bookcases filled with books. It's a little cramped, not that dusty, but it's not a whole lot of room to move. And as you open the door, a sound comes to your ears from down the hall, but nothing you can see, there's a whistling. Um, can I creep over to the corner of the hall and peek around? Absolutely you can. Okay, we're gonna do that like this way? Yep. Okay, gonna peek around the corner. Uh, give me one more stealth. All right, one more stealth. Don't worry, it's You're whistling. doing those stealthy things. 22. Yep, no problem at all. Uh, as you turn around, you see a Digimon that stands at about human height, just in front of the bookcase, just flipping through one book, swapping some around in the order of the bookcase. It's distracted with its own business. It's just doo -doo -doo, whistling to itself. I don't know if I want to risk scanning it or not. <laughs> Do it. Okay, you we're know, gonna you know, <laughs> So you know if you come back, that's literally the first question Kinji's gonna ask. Just yeah, okay, we're gonna scan it, because uh, I'm not gonna, <laughs> gonna come back here again. Alright, you give it a scan, and I don't think the device actively beeps, because, you know, they're designed such to be done, you know, stealthily, so it's not everything doesn't go terribly. <laughs> but when the scan completes, you momentarily you hear the whistling stop, and it lifts its head up for a second. 
You do anything when you hear the whistling stop, and it's just, it's raised its head up from what it was reading. Is it looking at me? No, it's still looking straight forward, but it's just like, hmm? Gonna just scoot back around the corner. <laughs> yeah. As you do, you like, there's a few moments pass, and then the whistling starts again. <sighs> okay, we're gonna silently shuffle back to the group. And look at the results of that scan. All right. Results tell you that it is a Wisemon. It's a Digimon that can often be found in research centers. It always loves to be surrounded by books and doing its research and such. It's another ultimate level Digimon. Jeez. So it's really, really adding up now that they weren't messing around when they told you this castle had big data readings. There's a lot of strong Digimon just around it. All right, um, she chose going to relay all of that information real quick, that there is another ultimate level Digimon around the hallway, and it likes books, and it's reading books, and don't go over to it, because if it stops whistling, we might get caught again. Hmm. wonder if he'd, uh, if they'd know something, though, about what might have brought this castle here. That's a good point you got there. But, um... Do we want to break our cover? We all want to say like, yes, please over. let me out. <laughs> what did Cherry do? <laughs> Cherry is uh, like walking into the room. Be anyone can stop her. But, uh, <laughs> Will we? Did you? Uh, did Lucky close the door after coming back through, or did you leave the door open? I left the door open. All right. So Cherry's just walked on through. Mm -hmm. Here she goes. Um, yeah, Beatrix can't even do anything to stop it. <laughs> she can't <laughs> <sit to the thing. laughs> All right, so Sherry, just like walk around through there. Yeah. All right. Um, unless someone stops her, that is what she is going to do. This blessed can, angel. Can, can she find it? But he's gonna like you know scoot towards the stairs a little bit. Just in so case. as Cherry walks down here and rounds the corner, what you see is nothing at all. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. Uh, I think uh, Cherry kind of deflates a little bit. Like, um... <laughs> She's forward to talking to someone. <laughs> yeah. And uh, looks around. Um, were there any books that were out, or...? Let's see, rolls, rolls. Uh, Beatrix, roll perception for me. Um, okay. Yep, yep. Wait, who's rolling perception? Uh, it wasn't a difficult roll to make anyway. So, um, while Cherry walked off and you're like probably standing here tensely waiting to hear something. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you do hear a sound. It's it from over like... here as a, as a book just falls out of the bookcase. Falls out open on the floor. Well, that shit's cursed. <laughs> <laughs> I've played Super Mario 64. I'm going to grow teeth and attack us. Um, Beatrix just quietly points in the direction of the book that's on the floor. I'll go get it. <laughs> swear, if this curses me, you're going to have to deal with that. All right, you walk up, you look at the book, the book looks back at you, and oh, your face oh, rises oh, up out of it as Wisemon emerges up from out of the book. Oh, Jesus Christ, we're cracker! <laughs> is, this, is this a verbal response? Uh, just a... <laughs> a verbal response. Yeah. At that, Wisemon just claps its hands, and you're like... Forms flicker and the outlines change back to who you are, oh. not the disguise oh. anymore. I told I like you that. it was cursed. It its hands are still like clapped together, but it starts like pulling its palms apart, but keeping its fingers together, just like steepling its fingers. Interesting. Did Cherry change back in the other room? <laughs> Cherry <Cursed>. didn't. <laughs> Cherry wasn't seen. <laughs> Damn. Lucky's gonna turn around, stare Beatrix in the eye, and then point a hand and go, cursed. Well, now, that's a rude thing to say. I mean no harm, but that book was, uh, cursed. <clears throat> Not yet. 
it pulls its hands apart and holds it up and like one of the books on the ground just rises up into its hand and it grabs it, turns around and fits it back into the um, bookcase. What oh. brings humans to my library? If Beatrix had like a mouth, she'd be like well, firmly you have mouth. Mouth. She your teeth. You, you, do she you don't have Wise one turned off the disguises. Oh uh, yeah, disguised. yeah, she does. <laughs> so she is like firmly clenching her teeth, just like, mm -hmm. this is You're getting great. just a curious stare down from this gentleman. Uh, we're, um, oh shucks, why am I the one talking? Ah, uh, we're here to figure out what's up with the castle being here. It tells its head like, being where? Uh, not in the digital world? Now it's eyes wide a bit. Hmm? And like, he doesn't like, leave the library. Back into a book, and oh. the book actually like, flies up and slots into a high up bookshelf on, into a high up row on the bookshelf. And Cherry, on the other side, you see just a book fall out, open up, and just the Stigemon emerges into it, and it starts pulling books out of the bookshelf over on your side. Uh, um, does anybody else know what happened? I didn't quite catch that. Hello? Hello? <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, what is happening? Uh, hi. It's actually pulled enough books off the um, bookshelf now to reveal that there's a window behind one of them. Oh, well, that's not good for books. Can I... Do you need, a, do you need assistance? What's going uh, on? Wise One just presses its face up against the window, and you hear this muffled voice from where it's got its like that. Interesting. Interesting. You, um, uh, you don't get out much, do you? <laughs> it's only, like, it's over here now. Oh. It just What's... disappeared through one of the walls and left you guys behind for a moment. I'm just uh, give me a second. <laughs> like he's gonna like run up the hallway. <laughs> do you uh, do you need a moment? What's going on? Uh, I, I oh, told wait, it. What's what happened to your sweet disguise? Uh, well, the book fell off the shelf. And I went over to it and I touched it and oh, it, it was it. cursed, huh? Yeah, it was cursed. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're, you, you and me got the same idea. Meanwhile, the other group was just watching me the whole time. Mm, curses. They'll get you every time. Yeah. After a moment, the wise one pulls its head away from the window and, like, it claps. It's like, yes, interesting. It turns around. It sees you both. It points Hi. right at Cherry and disguise off. Oh, what? Ah, uh, fine. Then, at least like, I can replenish my gum now. Yeah, and it disappears, like, through oh. a book through this wall over here and getting back to here. It, like, comes towards you. Interesting. Where oh. are we? Where this thing's giving me a real run for my money. <laughs> I'm looking at this window. <laughs> get right, back it's here. Uh, pretty high up, so you like, got to climb up the bookshelf to get to the window. Mm. But All yeah, right. like you can, you can just see this window back there. It's a little frosted over, and like there's been breath against it because Wiseman just pushed its face up against it. But like you can just see this snow-covered territory beyond it. Huh. It doesn't really look like anything to you, so you're not sure why it appealed so much to it, but right. it's a weird Digimon. <sighs> Alright, are you, you going to stay here now, or do I have to run in laps around your library? Uh, it's, it's not, it was asking Beatrix, like, what? Oh. Where is this? Uh, I, I didn't realize I, mean, I was being addressed here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, sorry. Uh, so, yeah, she unclenches her teeth. She tries not to Explode. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, um, we just go to bed. Good night. Um, I just want. To... Go ahead. Yeah. Um. Okay. She says, "This castle is. This castle is currently located in Eden, and our job is to return it to its rightful place in the digital world." It if, holds up its hand, and like a book shoots out of one of the far bookcases out of here, just right past you guys into its hand. It flips open. Eden, Eden, Eden. Oh, interesting. And it like puts the book down. We are in Eden. That is delightful. Why are we here? 
It, it's like being only half paying attention to you guys. Anytime That's you say that... anything that interests you, it like <laughs> gets what you're saying. It does its own thing. It's, well, that's part of what we're trying to figure out here. Um, is she, she's kind of figuring that he he's Wiseman sort of doesn't know anything about what's going on here. So I would also love to know how this came to be. You are humans. <laughs> oh, 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 you had best hope the queen doesn't find you. That's the plan. That's why we were disguised. <laughs> of course, of course. You won't have luck as appearing as the born chessmon around here. They don't go anywhere. They should not be. Oh, shoot. All right. Here, here, here. Give me a second. I need to get a stat. Uh, well, I thought that was in character for a second. <laughs> no, it, the here, here, here was in stat. Yeah, yeah, Wiseman just uh, talking through his books like, I need to find my stats. Hold on. <laughs> it does have improved derived stat brains, so it rolls with half of its brains. Shit, do I round up or round down? I wrote that down as a rule. Uh, always round up. Okay, so a brains roll from Wiseman is 3d6 plus 7. That's pretty good. Ooh. Okay, Wisemon claps its hand, and it ch and all of your forms like blur out again. This isn't like avatar replacement. You just look different, like it's illusions of you, and you all look like. Let me just move one of these down here for you, like these guys, oh my little God. Lego Ogamon. You oh, all look like Ogamon now. <laughs> I fucking love that. That's excellent. Like he's gonna look at like Very the nearest awesome. person and just be like. We are so cute. Wow. Ah. Wiseman says, yes, yes, with this, you should be freer to wander. Most won't question the servants going about. Now, why this is happening, I simply must know. Well, if you will help so... me find out. Yes. yes. Uh, clicks its hand again, and um, like, from the ceiling, this big book, like bigger than you guys, just starts lowering down. It's like a platform, but it's a book. And wow. there's something like a open hole in the ceiling above you now. Whoa. And Wiseman says, I can help you move around this castle. And in return, you will deliver unto me knowledge. Well, I can't help you with that, but I'm sure the rest of us can. Sounds good. Um, did you know that... Oh, man, it's hard when you're on the spot, huh? Hmm. It's like poking around Lucky now, and it's like poking like around where your digivice is. Oh, like here. Uh, you want this it. thing? Don't give it your digivice. <laughs> As it picks it up, immediately uh, it jettisons Naimon. Let me grab the icon for Naimon. <laughs> just as soon as Wiseman has the Digivice. Does Naimon intentionally come out or just get jumped out? Naimon is probably like waking up from a nap as this is happening. <laughs> Naimon <laughs> unceremoniously <laughs> drops on the floor as Wiseman like holds up a hand and this glow appears, and a stream of zeros and ones starts going into the Digivice and then coming back out. You can also see, like, the zeros and ones flashing through the black of its face. It's just scanning this device. Like, interesting. Inter it's enthralled right now. Neymon just kind of, like, gets to his feet and just like, what? Uh, sorry about that, little guy. Uh, this guy's just uh, borrowing the thing and watch it for a bit. Kenji is just like glasses off, like rubbing his eyes in the background, like oh, this is pick bad. up uh keep on. What's he doing? Uh couldn't tell ya. Not a clue. Um Leolon is gonna be like, Beatrix, can I come out now? Namon's out. Why can't I? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. She's like, hold on. 
Is anyone else's Digimon like seeing Namon come out, decide they want to be out now? Coronamon like makes like a like an attempt, but then like stops like. Hmm. Hmm. Are my services needed? You'll ask uh, Jerry. I don't see why not. It's it's I could use a bud to be honest. All right, Coronamon will pop out. And then, like, cling on to Cherry's leg. Like, like, like a... There you go. Do you have control of this icon? Yep. All right, cool. Um, after a moment, Wisemon hands you, uh, Lucky, back your Digivice and claps his hand against, Wonderful. Ah, you digital security division are quite fascinating. Oh, well, he knows everything now. That's great. <laughs> sure, it's fine. That's probably not going to name is, like, Wise. Like, so... It's fine. We could now, use I must help. admit, I am unsure where this binding point between the castle and this Eden is. However, I would not be opposed to helping you locate it. I would be most interested in studying it. Uh, more the merrier, right? Am I right? Beatrice, like, yeah, your, your assistance would be greatly appreciated. As long as you're not looking to, you know, open more of these binding spots or anything like that, I don't see why. Oh, this is purely for my own personal interests. I am part of the Castle of Hearts to maintain their knowledge, but ultimately it is my duty to obtain knowledge. And I will do that regardless of the benefits or drawbacks to my employers. No. Oh. Well, that's tasty. And Wisemon then, like, zips back into the book, the book snaps shut, and then starts floating up towards, um, be towards Lucky. It's like, carry my book, and I will aid you across the castle. Oh, sure. Right, Thank so you have the book of Wisemon on you. Nice. All right. We got us a pal. Yeah. Also, you're small enough you can fit in doors now. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what's next, team? Leolamon pops out. He is so tired of being in the Digivice. <laughs> yeah. I think, uh... Uh, Diamon, Dil, Dilimon has just actually fallen asleep. <laughs> so unless you sort of shake him out like a like a like a cat on some bedding, uh, he's uh, he's probably gonna stay in there. Be uh, Beatrix, Beatrix sees Leomon, um come out of the, and she's just like, oh my god, we we need to go. Back up those stairs, you need to stay in here. I mean, so do we I know? We're it's supposed to be undercover. There's yeah, a undercover. loud ringing, There's a loud ringing noise of a bell that's coming from the upper doorway. It's closed, but you can still hear a loud bell ringing behind it. That's it. You just hear a bell. Um, should we, you know, <laughs> go that way? Yeah, come on, come on. Okay, can, you guys can are you so get, boring. Can Let's you just get go. The on out. If, 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 if this, Wait, if... which way is the bell coming from? The uh, upper way with the balcony that was overlooking oh, the great right. wall. Oh, uh, right. Just going to remind everyone before we go up there that there are at least six gigantic Digimon. Did you say uh, Kenji got prize one out, Andy? No, nah, Kenji doesn't have prize one. Really not. Oh, right. Sorry. But if everyone else, out. like, if, if, if there's no point if I'm the only one that's keeping stuff in. <laughs> so I'm going to, I guess, shake my Digimon to try and get my little buddy out. Ah, it's starting to get a little crowded in here. You might want to spread out a bit more. We're supposed to be undercover. She's like, actually, 
getting angry. All right, all right, all right, all right, all um, right. Get back in here. Come on. <laughs> that totally Leoman's works. like, get... Leoman kind of just sits patiently at Beatrix's feet. With a shit-eating grin, though. <laughs> can she, like, force him back into the, like, the... Uh, Digimon can <laughs> exit from the Digivice whenever they want. Uh, can the book make them look like toys, too? Um, maybe. Can I ask? She's just like, if, you, if you're all walking around in the open like this, we're going to get caught. All right, uh, do you ask the book to... Do you ask Wiseman? Hey, uh, Wiseman, buddy pal, can you uh, give us another hand real fast? The, uh, like, the book's closed, but it's pages within its low golden for a second. And yeah, all your Digimon change forms, and you look similar but different as you are clear Toy Ogamon. Ooh. How so neat. You Thanks. look like a Toy Ogamon, but transparent-ish. Oh, thank you. That was real handy. Now we can all go out and stuff. Uh, Lil Mon's gonna wander over to the balcony. <laughs> yeah, I guess we should, uh, maybe, I mean, if we're, she said we're disguised as servants, maybe we should go follow that bell. All right, so, uh, does Lil Mon open the door? Uh, you know, <laughs> Lucky will go up there and open the door, because I don't know if Lil Mon's got hands. So well, we'll neither do again. you if you're a toy Agumon also. Well, no, we just look like him. Yeah, yeah. these times it's illusions. You don't, yeah, aren't actually shape changed. Uh, yeah, okay, but okay. just Leoma doesn't have hands in general. <laughs> so looking out here, the way the Great Hall works is that up here there's a uh, balcony banister that runs like around to this corner, up to this corner, like just around the top of the room. And inside the room there are much larger doors beneath it and the um, major table that these Digimon are sitting at. And they're still there and chat. Well, they're not chatting away anymore. They're standing at attention because another Digimon has entered the hall. A another Bishop Chess one, a different looking one to the one you saw before. And it's speaking to them and they're all listening to it. At this point, she's just like, wait, why would the servants be coming out of the library? Oh, shoot. It's fine. <laughs> Just don't worry about it. Well, Listen, with, the, really... with the way the upper balcony works, um, there's like not a way for these down here to specifically see you unless they're looking at you. You get the feeling this kind of upper balcony is for servants to just go around without getting in the way of the larger Digimon. Nice. So let's go up here and see what's up. All right, who decides going out of the library in that direction is terrible, and who just follows behind to see what's happening? <laughs> I mean, I definitely think it's terrible. <laughs> Me too, I was just going to follow Beatrix's lead on this one. Beatrix knows that if one more thing happens right now, she's just going to lose it. <laughs> Uh, All right. Uh, how are you doing up there, Lucky? He's uh, just looking for where the sound of the bell came from. You can actually like see it now in the hands of this Bishop Chessmon. It's got a bell in one hand and its staff in the other one, and it's the one that called it. And it's like speaking to the others. And as you get closer, you start to hear it just uh, talking about what it's saying is. The Queen has been impressed by your showing so far. However, there are more tests yet to be taken. There will be a trial later this night, and I expect you all to be present for it. Uh, Leolman, uh, behind his disguise, like if you could see his actual form now, his ears are totally facing forward at the mention of a trial. Trials? He's very interested. Yeah. The Digimon at the front of the pack, um, the one that's like, the fires aren't lit right now, but it's very red, very armored. Um, just asks, and what kind of trial are we expecting? Bishop Chessmon responds, you will be informed of what is required of you 
at the time, as we have told you, every time you've asked. It this just turns back to the Digimon others of, and like, Digimon of kind of like heart. rubs the back of its head, looking at the others. Some of them are kind of like, ugh. And some of them are just like, yeah, that's about normal for this. <laughs> are you still, uh, are you moving around, Lucky, or just going forward? Um, or just standing still? Just like moving around to the like illusion that he's a busy servant on his somewhere. All right. Uh, you know, just uh, casually making his way, walking fast, not too fast. Give me a dodge roll, so agility plus dodge. Agility <laughs> plus oh, dodge. Oh, God. <laughs> it's fine. Uh -oh. I have. It's fine. I have an eleven in that. Twenty-two. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. Uh, this time, like, you see the big pink fluffy Digimon. It's, like, absolutely shifting, and its tail whips up and trails overhead, and you just duck beneath it as it goes right over your head. <laughs> <laughs> That's close. Luckily, Leolamon's closer down to the ground, so it just goes over your head naturally. Awesome. <laughs> The Bishop Chessmon walks out of a big door at the end of the Great Hall and leaves, and some of the others, like, sit back down. Uh, this one's, like, it wanders off, and two of the others wander off with it. The others just, like, more? seat themselves back down at the hall. Is there any the big one's, question? like, it's nice to have more room around. Uh, Why are you so? We're all gonna die. <laughs> are there any like doorways accessible to this balcony? Yep, yeah, you've got one up here in this corner. All right, let's uh scoot over on that way and check that out. Leolmon's gonna poke his head back in and be like, "Hey, there's a door over that a ways. You're not gonna get anything done by just standing around. So let's move it, move it, move it." Um, Beatrix is gonna ask Wisemon, is it gonna look strange if- Sorry, Wisemon is with Lucky. <laughs> oh. Shit. God damn it. God. <laughs> is that the one more thing? <laughs> oh. I love this. Um, Beatrix is just so like she she probably goes to ask Wiseman the question, then realizes that the book is not in the room, and uh, this is just not going according to plan. And I'm gonna roll torment. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love that. Did you guys torment her so? Alright. So is that the best of the best? Yes. She is a... Yeah. Like, if you've been working with her for... Well, you probably don't even have to have been working with her for that long to know that she is very much a perfectionist. 3d6 plus <laughs> willpower minus unmarked boxes. So that's 3d6 plus 2. I'm so sorry. There you go. Okay. That was a good roll. Power through it. Like, how does Beatrix overcome this stress? She's just going to take a very deep breath and just not explode at the nearest person. <sighs> All right. Mark off okay. one my comment box. And um, I'm introducing a new role to, rule to try and get inspiration flowing more. So when you mark off a torment box, you gain a point of inspiration. Oh, okay. So that's more of a reason to um, check your torments. Yeah, I can't actually mark off the torment boxes on this. Uh, click the actually. character create car com creation complete button at the top. Ah, okay. Because okay. you have to spend points during character creation. To uh, okay. Um, yeah. 
Right. All right. So Lucky's going ahead towards this doorway. The Olamon yep. has just told you all follow along. What are the rest of you doing? Mitsuo is going to sort of look at um, Beatrix, go, uh, are you all right? I'm fine. <laughs> Still, we should probably not all follow at once. Mitsuo nods and uh, hangs back. All right, so who is going besides... Lucky's almost at the door. Is Leolamon going back to Lucky? Uh, yep. Leolamon's, Leolamon's going to walk her forward a bit. Hello, look behind. Time. Look behind. Um, <sighs> not seeing anyone following. Roll his eyes, sigh, and continue going without his tamer. Just going. All right. I love how these two are not Digimon and partner, but they've been sticking <laughs> to each other because they're both reckless. That's good. All right. So, uh, Cherry, Namon, Coronamon? Coronamon's going wherever Cherry is. Namon probably can't get away with someone just carrying him for the time. <laughs> Not if you're both <laughs> Toy Agamon. No. <laughs> it's a little weird at that point. Yeah. He's just going to hang back for the minute. You know what's the best part about this being illusion? You're just going to hear this Toy Agamon going. <laughs> 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 All right, what's Cherry doing? Uh, that's a very good question. Um, probably, honestly, probably following Lucky. All right, well, Coronamon will go with her. Okay. I'm guessing Kenji is hanging back. No, K Kenji's just gonna like sigh and like start walking that way, like more or less, like okay, whatever, like. Basically, he, he, he's defeated inside right now. He's like, I guess this is what's happening. <laughs> I so guess man. this is my life now. <laughs> All right. So, Lucky, what you doing? We're gonna we're gonna go into the door. I'd like to go pe peek around the door. It's there. All right. So it's a closed door up here. Do you just open it up? Yep. Yeah. Slowly. Don't want to like hit somebody again. Door. Oh, th this one opens inwards. Oh, good. You pull it Just open pull it so inwards. it doesn't hit itself yeah. in the face. All right. As you open this door and step in, you hear a rustling from down below, and up to eye level against the banister, the very large dog dragon head of this Digimon just rises up and There's looks another... at you. No, this one specifically. It just rose up to the top. It heard. It's like, bring more food, please. Oh, uh, right away. And then it just goes back down and, like, coils around the room a little more. <laughs> Lucky inside's like, I really hope it's the kitchen in here. <laughs> All right. So what you have found is a kind of antechamber. There's tables over there that are set with, like, cleared plates and so forth. You get the feeling um, it's relics from previous meals that are still like still to be cleaned. All right, and it looks like there's other doorways here. Yep, you got two more doorways. One here, and one here. Um, we're gonna go to the one right across and peek in there. Is this the kitchen? <laughs> you just gingerly open this doorway. There's a lot of light coming in from just up here and like cascading over here and so you get the feeling there's br something bright whether it's sunlight or some sort of light nearby it but there's no like doorway in here it's just a hall there's some suits of armor set up in there which is kind of go in here but this in now the kitchens uh he's gonna try the door <laughs> all right what are the rest doing in this time And Coronamon's like making his way over slowly. Dying but not, inside. Like getting away from Cherry. Staying right. near her. Is Cherry looking over the balcony or trying not to look at it? Uh well. Please don't I feel like she would I feel like she would peek real quick, but then jump right back down. 
All right. When you look over, you do make eye contact for a moment with this Digimon here that just looks up. It like sees you peeking right over, and then it just like looks back down again. All right. They seem to be not be too fussed about other servants around taking stealing peeks at them. Okay. But yeah, after that, it's gonna just continue on. All right. Come okay. on, following behind. Yep. Yep. All right. Kenji? Yeah, Kenji's gonna like, yeah, wave his little buddy up. And Dalimon? Start making his way. Just like trying to not be, you know. He, he is actively not looking over the edge. He's just like, mm-mm, just straight ahead. Dillymon's just trying to get the hang of walking on two feet. Well, it's an illusion. Yeah. yeah. But yeah if so you you're think on about... four feet, but you look like you're walking on two feet. Yeah. But if you think about it too hard, it gets confusing. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, as you're just passing by here, Kenji, you hear um, a voice of another Digimon from down there start up. It's like, so, so, how do you think you went last time? I did great, but you, let's talk about you. And the voice of the large pink dragon's like, I did fine, I think. No, 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 you have to do better than fine. You have to be great. Say it with me now. You did great. It's like giving her a pet talk. Aww. <laughs> And just as you're walking away, you just see one for time. But I, I did do better. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mitsuyo right, uh, is getting bored. She's going to start going. Oh, uh, pull Lita Beatrix. <laughs> Beatrix and your mom the only ones left. <laughs> All right. Lucky, you open up the next doorway. And just as you are opening it up, you see a doorway just here closing and a Digimon's form just going through it. Just another another one, like you guys, another Toy Ogamon just oh. walks through this way. Kitchen, maybe? <laughs> He's determined to find the kitchen. That the old man is right behind him. He's a really good actor. <laughs> it's way into it. <laughs> like, what if it tries to eat me instead of it's hungry? Philemon goes like, we can we can eat some of this, right? Like we're we're servants, but we're we're justified. So yeah, if, if if we can find some food, we can yeah, eat this it. We more like find it. Food cabinets first. and such, but there's no food stacked in here. All right, well we're just gonna uh, this door. <laughs> it's just opening every door you come to. All right, uh, Terry, <laughs> you followed behind. You're seeing Lucky go from door to door. Right. What's in there? What was in this straightaway area? Uh, there's a bunch of like suits of armor lining the wall, like a show-off deal, and there's a bunch of light coming in like from this side, but you can't quite see from what over there. Wait, is the light coming from a window? I... You, it seems like a lot of lights coming in from something, but you couldn't see a window from like this angle. You'd have to get closer. Sure, want to investigate that. All right, you walk down, and as you get down, you do see, like, a huge window that's in there. It's overlooking, like, a big inner field inside the middle of the castle. Like, you can see across from here more of the castle's walls in the distance and a big open field in the middle. And down in the middle, there is a pair of Nightmon and one other Digimon. Let me just get some positioning right on this because awesome. there's a lot going on in this castle at any one time. Right about this time, <laughs> Kenji gets to the door and sees that it's the room is completely goddamn empty. <laughs> I love that. Okay, let me do some reveals. Okay, you can see a lot of the interior of the castle, and you can see this that red Digimon that you saw before is like sparring with two Nightmon. It's just jumping around with them while they're swinging swords and like blocking it and shooting off balls of fire, and it's just playing around by the looks of it. Hmm. 
Okay. And you can see right below you, there's a big staircase that leads down. And you get the feeling that right beneath this floor you're on is a much larger area that the big Digimon can walk through. Hmm. Tess, what's Beatrix doing? <laughs> um, Beatrix is <laughs> waiting as patiently as she possibly can for someone to come back and give her a status update, maybe? <laughs> but the amount of people interested in doing that is a whopping zero. <laughs> so she has noticed. Lucky's very, very into kitchen quest right now. So, okay, it's it's probably been a short while by this point. Um, so she's also going to head out onto the balcony and kind of urge Neymon to follow behind her. So, right. yeah, you just kind of plod, plod <laughs> on the balcony. <laughs> All right, uh, what's Dailymon doing? Uh, I don't know. Probably just following Stammer. You sound sleepy. I'm hanging in there. We'll find our breakpoint very shortly. Uh, Beatrix, please roll a stealth check for me. Oh, goody. Uh oh, oh, oh that would be fine. Oh, that's not going to be very good at all. <laughs> 3d6, agility plus stealth. Yeah, she has like, three agility and zero stealth. So. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, <laughs> you got a roll really good. Oh yeah, like that. That's great. Ooh, we're also so, good at rolling good. As you're walking along and you're just going there and you're kind of like, Naimon's is starting to get to you a little. And you spend a moment just considering whether you should like try and do something about it. When suddenly there's a shadow cast over you as this Digimon here just suddenly pulls itself like hands wrapped on the banister, it pulls itself up. It's like, oh, yes, please. And it just wraps its hand around you and pulls you back down. Oh, oh Jesus. No. <laughs> Jesus. You just got got. And I think we'll find out what's happening with that next time. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and then Tess's character dies first again. <laughs> God. Of course. Of course that's what happens. <laughs> Uh, oh, that's sure. a lot of fun. What a mess. <laughs> it's fine. Hey, this these guys are office... This is all this... everyone else's fault. <laughs> this group's <laughs> office parties must be absolutely disastrous. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. <laughs> Did they invite you the Digimon? Just wanted to go back have... downstairs. <laughs> I just wanted to go back downstairs. Meanwhile, Lucky's on Kitchen Quest. It doesn't look like he's going to stop anytime soon. <laughs> And, uh, Cherry's just, uh, admiring this really, really buff Digimon spar. Feeling some things. Leomon has no idea what's happened to his tamer whatsoever. <laughs> this is fine, we have, uh, clueless two completely unreleased. Yeah, we have the two clueless dumbasses looking for the kitchen. <laughs> it's okay, so far the only body count is that one pawn chess mom that saw your motive. <laughs> Oops. Oh, <laughs> and Kenji is now like, oh, everyone's fucking gone. Cause he just, <laughs> just... Dillymon puts a... This castle's a empty! <laughs> <laughs> Christ, eat it back to the Digi world.